And we got a banana in chat from Iluv Cats and Joel Kip. And 40 TDE. Nicola 217. Sleepy Flowers. And Tomato in a Bag. Talisman, sir. Thank you so much for your bananas in chat. Means that we're live here on the twitch.tv slash the assumer where we're playing Mindustry. Oh, yeah. Liking that metal guitar right there. Speaking of metal guitar, pre stream music today was Textures with Lamnance of an Icarus, if I remember the name of the song correctly. That, the riff and the beginning of that song, the timing of it, it gets stuck in my head all the time. It just it just comes out of nowhere and I'm always like, oh, just thinking about that riff. So I thought I'd throw on that song and I totally forgot how good the riffs at the end were as well. Amazing song. Really cool timing signatures in there, you know, timing signatures, you know, jun, 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 all that stuff. Love it. Right, uh, The Meal is here subscribing with Amazon Prime. The Lucky John 13 is subscribed as well. Thank you so much for your support. Appreciate it. Did I miss the bananas, says BG Monster X fan? You did, but you can throw a banana in any old time. If you feel like doing so. Let's jump into the campaign, ladies and gentlemen. Where well, we unlocked... Now, we unlocked a level... And I can't... I believe we might have... Com yeah, look, we beat this level. We haven't beaten the C flats. We've done that one. So we've got two levels left. And uh, we're going to do C salt flats, even. Uh, Savage Bot, thank you for the lovely message. Glad you enjoy my streaming. Zodiac Siren, welcome to the stream. You're watching Wells, who will now be streaming a lot. Yeah, he might be streaming when I finish, so I might send you back over there if that's all right. <laughs> uh, I don't know who I'm going to raid after the stream, but uh, yes, Wells would be a good idea. You know, help him with his uh, new direction. So we got access to everything we know about, but we want to take advantage of scrap for once. And so I am going to launch... Oh, no, I can't configure the loadout, can I? All right. So this is an enemy core one. We will aim to just do this quickly, I think. Let's launch. We know how the old enemy core thing works. Joey Joe Joey is... Oh, this is different. <gasps> is this the one I saw Zistu playing? I thought he was playing like a, an individual campaign thing. Interesting. Oh, well, I'm looking forward to this level then. Oh, that's why it was called Salt Flats. Did, did, did this do have that as the name of his thing? I think he did. Anyway, just looking at the layout here, it might seem smart to grab this copper straight away, but I'm going to guess maybe not. Maybe uh, pipe around the side here. Also, I have no idea what that is. Okay, that's a repair point for solar panels, so we can zap some power from here to somewhere else. Very interesting. Oh, this is going to be a super interesting map. Right, so as you know, we start by spamming drills. This is how you play the game, peeps, okay? You're getting a lesson in how to play the game today. You spam your drills, and you get your copper going as quick as you can. Okay, so that is my drill spam. Then we use some belt spam. We love spam over here. What an odd time for you to stream, X, says Bellant T. Yes, I don't normally stream at this time, do I? Um, it just so happens to be that... I've just had a couple of busy... Well, I'm always having busy days, right? But uh, rather than try and stick to my rigid streaming schedule... It's not rigid, but you know what I mean. The usual times that I stream. Just want to make things tricky today. So I figured, why don't I just uh, stream in the evening if I get the opportunity to? And I decided just to make my episode of Hermitcraft a bit shorter than usual. It just didn't feel right to... Um, to keep trying to do more so shorter episode of Hermitcraft and then I'm like well I got the evening free because of that so let's uh there you go right so now we're producing copper very slowly though uh and it is actually yeah it's actually building it's based on the speed the copper's coming in remember we could maybe increase it a tiny bit more by putting a drill there but I'm not going to worry about that Okay, so now the copper starts to really come in. I think our defense is going to rely on having a lot of cannons early on. So I think we're going to need a lot of copper wool as well. I think we're going to try and prioritize just getting tons of this stuff coming in to begin with, right? 
Let's not focus too much on the other tech available. Let's get this one going first. Okay, so I didn't really plan this, but I'm going to bring it in this way. I don't know why I'm going around the corner here. It's probably to save space for other things that could come through here. And so we'll do it like that. So anyway, that, that long-winded answer to that question was basically... Um, oh, it's doing, it's doing some stuff. It's doing some stuff funny. Uh, my long-winded answer was basically me saying... It made sense to make my episode of Hermitcraft shorter. And because of that, I can take the evening to do a stream. We got noises in the ear from Gandalf7901 for three months saying, I love your videos. I'm glad you enjoy them. I hope you enjoy the live streams as well. If you don't... <gasps> You know, it doesn't matter. <laughs> if you don't, it don't matter. Uh, graphite press. What do we got going on over here? We have a silicon smelter. So we're making silicon. Uh, that goes over here. Oh, so we're producing things. Okay, right. We may have to expand on this array later on. What I would like to do is find out where the coal is. If we look at the mini-map. Is that up there coal? It is. So we want to grab this stuff and make a graphite press below. If you look at where these things are, we're going to have to defend with them. We also don't have a lot of time. Maybe I shouldn't get sucked into making a graphite press yet. That's actually feeling like a bit of a distraction. What I think we will have to do is use some of the uh, advanced... advanced stuff we haven't done before. I say we haven't done before, I know we have. Distributor. I want to learn about this. What does the distributor do? Seven other directions equally. Yeah, that's not what I think I want. I think I want an overflow gate of all things. Only outputs to the left and right if the front path is blocked. No, that isn't what I want. Okay, I'm going to go with distributor. Uh, and we're going to distribute... Where can I put it? Where these aren't. Okay, we're going to distribute that into one belt. Very good. We're also going to go ahead and put a couple extra uh, drills. If I'd have put it back by one, that would have made more sense. Whatever. In fact, this wasn't a very thought through system right here, but it's going to be that for now. Uh, I could probably get rid of that as well. Anyway, we're going to bring this up and over to the side. So that we always have uh, a large amount of copper available. That's the idea. I didn't actually notice that there were copper mines here, funny enough. <laughs> so that... Oh, that's really clever. Look at that. That actually... Now, this kind of makes this whole thing like a little bit on the silly side. Let's leave it alone. Now that I know that this is here, let's leave it alone for a second. Okay, anyway. That is a really clever setup. Okay, now what we do need over here is like mending, I think. A mender going on. So that we can hit up all of those walls. One here, one there maybe. Power node behind it. Copper and lead is all we need, so we need to get lead coming in here soon. Okay, so now we've got healing going on to protect all this scrap wall we've got in the area. I hope it's able to repair it. Okay, 19 seconds to the next wave comes. I think the next thing we need to do is this stuff. Down here, we need to get all the lead in. Uh, we've got a noise in here from JP Martins, free for 18 months in a row. Thank you ever so much for your tremendous support, dude. I appreciate it. 18 months, incredible. Thank you. Do you have any of the mechs? Mechas unlocked, says Burnt Ninja. I got lots of them unlocked, I believe. Maybe not all of them, but we got we got a few of them unlocked. Okay, that we have. Okay, and that will bring lead into the system. The key under an item's name shows a shortcut, says 4DTE. It does, yeah, but I'm not very good at memorizing lots of shortcuts. Okay, it looks like an attack force was just made and sent out. Now, with a command center, we can control these. We might have to do that in this map. And I can actually see 
the enemy's base on the minimap. Okay, so they're over there. We're already causing them a little bit of havoc. That's good to know. Uh, I believe a wave might have already come in. Or is on the way in. Let's see where this wave is. Oh, actually. Yeah, we need, we need to be prepared here. Um... Right, one of the things we could do is potentially repeat this over and over again, which is kind of exciting. Uh, maybe minus the scrap ball, which is by the fault. We do, however, want to... Let's rotate that. How do we rotate again? Hmm. My rotate buttons don't... Oh, there we go, got it. So maybe something like this. Uh, it doesn't have to be perfect, by the way, peeps. Okay, and you know you know how building works in this game? You do it all in one go, don't you? Uh, that one can go back this way. Okay, and then we'll get a wall somewhere out in front of it. And from that side over to here. And then we've kind of secured these resources for now, right? And I can hear some pew-pew battles going off to the, uh, off over on the side. Uh, we've got a noise in here from... Oh, hello there! Subscribe of Amazon Prime. Thank you for your Prime subscription. Appreciate it. Hope you're uh, enjoying the stream. Ah, look. A little bit of the stuff is coming out here and going up there. That's actually fine, I think. That's all good. We could possibly put a little bit more copper on over here. Since we created this other distribution system, I'm going to put two more in up here. And I see our first enemy. Aha! Right, I need to engage. I'm holding down click. Pew, pew. I'm doing all the defense work, peeps. Whoo! Okay, let's continue building. We need more of these cannons online, clearly. And I don't know where it is they're going to attack. We might also want to make them pathfind into a particular area is something to consider. So down in this spot, we need to think about what we want to protect down here. I'm probably going to want that coal. And we've got... So we probably want something like that to defend this area. Now while all of that's happening, we do actually want to ramp up the amount of silicon we're producing. So I wonder if there's an easier way to turn this into an array... Picking up sand. Let's actually, yeah. If we if we don't try and do it right in this very spot, it should be pretty easy, because we've done this many many times. Uh, we're also going to attempt to do this without a graphite press yet, so maybe we'll hold on to that idea. Um, but I can see the inputs going in here, and the output we can wing around that way, and also then split back off into the base. So that's probably where our array is going to go, right? Okay, now heading back up here, we've still got a base to build. We've also now got a, a bunch of graphite to mine, or coal to begin with. Uh, might not be the best way to do that. There we go, that kind of works. We do want to get as much of this as we can. Okay, that can go down to there, then from here. that around and then we can have one there a couple there for now okay let's open up our schematic for the graphite press uh, Demidget says Assumer I'm assuming you're still not playing multiplayer we're still doing the campaign once we've done the campaign we'll move on to doing other stuff you know okay there's plenty of room to expand and we'll probably get rid of this belt eventually so as we always do, we're going to build it like that. And uh, yeah, let's get this going. And put that in right there. Okay, do we have more baddies coming our way? I think we do. Here's what we need to do over in this spot. We need to take that and bring it up to there and that way that can get some all right how about we build this stuff here okay I'm gonna help defend nice let's keep building 
You can play the campaign in co-op, says Fyra. Oh, really? That's cool. Playing this game co-op could be real interesting. Especially for, like, multitasking stuff. Now, I'm going to put a wall like that to try and encourage them to go through this gap. So we can eventually defend it. Right, I, I really think we need more uh, copper coming in. So I'm going to put that there. Uh, do that. Kind of max out this belt. Very good. Alright, that means a bit later we're going to see more of this. Uh, let's max out this belt over here as well. With one extra there. Cool. Also, like a belt balancer might be a thing we could have around here. Oh, am I getting mended by that thing? That's really cool. I like that. And we've got graphite coming in now. Excellent. Uh, clearly we can get more graphite, so let's work on that. Immediately we want to expand the array. So two belts are going to come around there for those ones. One from above for those. There we go. Nice. Hey, assume we're kind of off topic, but do you think Hermitcraft 7 will start with a never update? Uh, I don't know, but I do know. Whoa! I do know ugh, that Hermitcraft Season... Ugh, Hermitcraft Season uh, is definitely going to be after Hermitcraft Season uh. You know. You know. You know. You don't need me to tell you. Oh, that that makes a lot of sense. I was not building. Yeah, need a couple more turrets here to be effective, don't we? And I think a couple more walls might be in order. Sweet. What about season? Ugh, says cats. Oh, not season. Ugh. Don't even talk about that one yet. Okay, uh, we can definitely up this array. I think we can. Let's go ahead and uh, give it a bit of a bump. Like that. And what's stopping us from building this? Is it lead? Possibly? Let's go check the resources back here. Uh, it's just copper, isn't it? It's always copper. We can't get enough of it. Tuxaban says, season meow. Season meow? Oh, jeez. Now I'm confused. What about season woof? Okay. Um, we need more... I was going to say lead. We don't, actually. Hey, look at this. We need a second belt of lead. So lead can come in faster. We need more copper. Copper is what we need. Ironically, you can make a joke about how we don't need copper on YouTube, but there you go. Right, uh, so one more can come in from somewhere. I think I'm going to sacrifice this and have it come around the back for the long run, you know. So it will come around this way. Go in there. And immediately we're going to put a couple extra on like that. Uh, we also need titanium to come in from somewhere around here. I think titanium will have to go round and down for now. Okay, in you go. And it's going to come from somewhere down here. Of course, it's got a ways to go, doesn't it? It's all the way over there. Just to get more copper. Alright, cool. You know, this is one of those games that I like end up staring at a lot and focusing a lot. Like I'm so used to Minecraft and the environment's so different I could just glance over at chat far more frequently. Season mustache is not me. Season mustache? The season of Mumbo, you mean? Okay, then we'll have a gap there. And that is a lot. But it'll be worth it. Okay, there we go. Excellent. Right, so we're bringing in more copper, which we need. Oh, no! No, how on earth did that happen? Slight inefficiency. I say slight, it's backed it all up. 
All right, so clearly we need uh, titanium to upgrade belts real soon. Ah, look, this is manipulating the path of our, uh, our little attackers over here as well. All right, that'll do for now, though. Oh, they're, they're choosing to do that now, are they? Interesting. Okay, uh, we need to pause. Always got to pause. Also, drink tea. 20 minutes in. Perfect time to drink tea, peeps. Oh. Ape Rover says, oh, are removed messages now completely removed rather than redacted? That's cool. I don't know. Remove messages? Do you want idea to carry over to Season 7 Hermitcraft, says Uperil? Probably not. I'm, um... I like it when things are isolated in a season. Now, don't get me wrong. Concorp is amazing and beautiful. And I'm even going to say, this season, it's been absolutely amazing to see what they do. So I'm sort of saying my point is wrong. But I would have... If I were part of Concorp, like, you know... Leave it in the season, like the log fellas. You know, the log fellas is season four. That's that's how I look at those things. And I know other hermit stone, and they're perfectly, you know, fine to do it however they see fit. I just personally like it when things get kind of left where they started. Um, maybe I could rethink that idea. That's just the way I look at things. You know, it doesn't have to be done that way. I'm gonna get rid of some of this here. Look, this is just not necessary, is it? Uh, and then we can go and drop in right there. And then put that there. Sweet. Oh look, the distributor is doing a thing. We don't need that anymore, so uh, get distributed. Get distributed somewhere else! Like, off of my base. That's where you're getting distributed. Cool. Uh, we upgraded these, didn't we? Brilliant, because we got all of this over here. What we're going to do next is... When the titanium arrives, is upgrade the belts first, and then upgrade... Something else. Okay, cool. So we're also kind of available now to do this. Soon we'll have to make power, but first of all, we're going to make silicon. Oh, the intense music. Things are ranking up around here. We've got some solar panels to get us started. We're going to have our array exit on this side. Uh, take a little turn and finagle its way up here. Where it will be able to... Uh, actually, I think it will do that. And I think we'll do this. Yeah. I might as well just boom, do the rest of this now. Right. There you go. Silicon goes all the way in. Beautiful. Now, obviously, we're going to... Hmm, we're going to get sand in from over here. Going in from the top. And sand from the bottom there. Let's grab a router. This might be a little bit trickier than I thought, actually. Then again, we've got coal over there. Okay, no, this I'm not really going to use this bit here quite the way I thought I would. Because it's going to be a little bit on the... Look, see, there's only one little way through there. It's going to be a bit on the messy side. I think we might try and use this coal for generating power. I'm actually going to leave this little thing here alone, I think. And just start again up here. So we can go one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven is the magic number, but uh, we need full sand for that. Okay, and then I can't remember what the magic number is up here. Uh, but as we always do, we'll try and sort of maximize all of it. There you go. Okay, so we're going to need a belt going from there, up here, and around, and down. And then one that comes out of there. Uh, that's going to go across. Gonna have a belt here going across. Might have to raise it up, actually, if I want to expand this. But for now, it should kind of be good. When we have titanium, that will probably change, won't it? Alright. Those robots are going to have to find a new path. And just like that, silicon. <laughs> but we do need power. And I'm aware... That this might start to... Oh, look. So that's amplified a little bit, the speed of that. Interesting. Now, what about this? Can this thing be amplified? Like, not really thought about that. When you click on that, it shows you water. When you click on this, it doesn't. No. Can't be amplified. Uh, but what we will need is some of that silicon to come back to the base and get some bigger solar panels going. Large solar panels require something we don't have yet. Wow. 
Yo, when are you doing face reveals, Sazaic? Oh, I've done one on my second channel. It's the most popular video on there. Can I have a speedy explanation on what this game is, Asuma, says Soviet Steve. Speedy explanation, go! It's like Vatori Omi's Fanfluence. Oh, there we go. <laughs> that was actually me trying to talk fast. Uh, it's like Factorio meets Tower Defense, basically. If you haven't played either of those games, it's going to be a little bit of a loss. But we are sucking materials out of the ground, putting them through processes like combining them together, using our power system to turn them into something else, unlocking you know, more progressive parts of our uh, tech tree, and aiming to destroy the enemy's core, which we haven't done a lot of so far. We haven't done a lot of core destroying over here. Now, I'm probably actually pretty close to being able to um, to unlock some titanium belts and do some more upgradey stuff. Let's put another one there as well. Oh, they just decided to go a different way, did they? Wow. Okay, that's going to get a lot of stuff out of there. Yeah, titanium belts are now going to be thing. The first place we want to use those are over here. There you go, we got... Oh, only 15? Really? I must have just spent a load. Huh. Well, uh, I can think of something we should do over here then. It's going to require us having a bit more power, is a thing. Yeah, so we need power generation before I get too carried away. So, basic way to do it before you get more materials is with this. Now, because we're producing our silicon here, this isn't too much of a priority. So what I can do is put a router here. And then we've now got two combustion generators helping out. That means that we can probably run our power network. Oh, I can use large nodes, but I don't think I will just yet. Especially consider considering that they use titanium and we're trying to, you know, get more of that. Uh, is that going to work for me? No, not really. Okay, there we go. So now we're going to drill for the water extractor, which will get power from our network. And then we're going to... Oh, I don't have metaglass yet. Got to make a quick metaglass array. Forgot about that one. Lead and sand close to each other. Preferably. Uh, lots of sand here and lead. So metaglass will get... Oh, okay. We're good. We're good. Metaglass will get made around here. As always, we have an array. Uh, we're going to put the array here. Then we're going to put our drills in this area. We're going to go straight for graphite. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, something like that to begin with. Should probably start building with titanium straight away, but we still don't have quite a lot of that. Um, we're going to have... Oh, this is going to be a little bit tight, actually. I'm going to do that. Uh, that's not a thing yet, is it? Oh dear. Junction. Router. And belt. So I guess maybe I should try and talk about what I'm doing uh, in terms of, like, what am I doing right now, for those of you who don't understand. So we're extracting lead, and we're pumping it into what's called an array, which allows us to chalk out lead to every other belt. That is what we are doing. Now, I'm just trying to catch every single drill here so that all of it comes through to our system. So the reason that I moved something back there is so we have room for a second belt, which is going to come across from here. And this one's going to do sand. Uh, we'll do... I want to keep it away from that, actually. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Something like that, actually. Okay. Uh, then we will have... The kiln is the one we need. So we've got a row of kilns capable of receiving sand and lead. Let's double check that's actually correct for a second. It's very typical of me to misremember. Sand and lead. Okay, no, I'm getting better. Okay. Did any of you doubt me? Did you think I got the wrong thing? Right, and we'll bring it into the core through this little wiggly wave of belts. Sweet. Sand is incoming. Woo! Now we just need power up here. OK. 
Okay, and I don't know specifically where to get this from, but I know there's something going on down here, and that will connect it. Right, so we've got power up here for kilns. Do you have a Discord so I can send you the error fully, says Haminx. I mean, I don't know what area you're trying to send me, but I do indeed have a Discord. It is discord.gg slash Asuma. We always doubt you. Sometimes we're right, says Talismancer. Sometimes, but not all the time. Also, we've got noises in the ear. Uh, tats, Tatsumaki Ronik. I've probably butchered your name, but thank you so much for your subscription. I appreciate it. Also, Bleed Green is here for 30 months in a row, saying... X, it's been months since I've been able to catch a stream. Busy time of the year for a Christmas light installer. Ah, yes. I mean, what time of the year do you work? Not in summer, clearly. <laughs> Can't stay long, but I've, I'm glad to see the great content still rolling. Appreciate you tuning in, dude. Hope you're having a, um, a good time with us and hope the work is going well. Mm. Appreciate it. Uh, someone's pointing out the wall is broken. It is indeed broken. We'll probably set up a little network of mending soon. Uh, but it's like one thing at a time around here. Is what we're trying to do. Right, so our sand belt is full. Our lead could be a little bit better. We are short on a material still. What material is it? Probably copper again. No, nope, copper's actually ticking up. It's probably graphite that's slowing us down. So each time something slows us down, we try to address it. We need more titanium, though, to upgrade a lot of stuff. Okay, the timing of them going out is working well for us at the moment. It may not stay that way, though. Oh, and now, wait, now there's a bigger horde come in. I'm going to get in on the action here. Sweet. Uh, it might just be that we're successfully giving these more lead as well. It's something I haven't thought of. Sorry, lead, silicon. And it kind of looks like we're probably ready to actually expand this array. Now you might think I'm mad, and you might be right. But let's do that. And we're going to need coal going in like it normally does. That's good. Sand is going to need to go up here, down there. Uh, let's actually go over by one and come... Ooh, will this work? We might need to swap these around, I think. Ah, <laughs> right, okay. So if I go in there, it goes straight across to nowhere else. So I have to go in here. Oh, I'm not actually sure I can do this. We've done it before, though. No, it is doable. It's just... Is that gonna really going to... Yeah, no, I have to put it in that one. Sand will have to go in there. So they have to be the other way around for that to work, I believe. Uh, then again, if I plug it in here, that can route it down, right? And then it goes... Oh no, I think I can actually do that. So no, maybe we're fine. Maybe we're actually fine after all. Okay, let's build that bit there. Okay, now what I'm going to do is have... Oh no, it's all a little bit too close, isn't it? So we need to come back again. Maybe get rid of that one. Yeah, it just needs a bit more space. Okay, so we want a junction. Junction right there. Cool, very good. Uh, over here. Gonna have another bunch of sand, basically. So we need another one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, that being said, that one's not full. And nor is that one. Oh, it was. Hang on. Ugh. So that'll be enough. And this will probably be upgraded to a titanium belt very soon. And we're going to need a power node over here. And do I see dirt faces in chat? Discord overlay! No! How could I forget? <laughs> oh, it's funny how you forget, because I, I did sort of look at it and think, I'm probably going to forget, don't forget. And then, yeah, what happens? Forget about it. Ugh. Ugh. 
Uh, Mr. Tom Tom Mon is here, resubscribing three months in a row, saying third month baby, indeed. Is, isn't it trimester? First trimester. Thank you so much, uh, Mr. Tom Tom. Hope you're enjoying the stream, having a good time. Okay, so let's evaluate. We need to go back and increase. You know, there might just be another titanium deposit. There is. So here's me trying to juice up this one, and we got another one, but um, that's absolutely fine. So what we will do, now that we can afford it, is get a liquid router here, here, and here. And then juice that, juice those up, basically. I might even put a second water extractor here, so... No, not there. Okay, so the two of those can work together and bring it over here. Power is actually not a max, so before we get too carried away, we desperately need to keep power at a maximum. So we're going to do that. And these are juiced up, aren't they, with water? What if we juiced up the ones on the side? Since they're producing power. And what would be the best way to do that? Over here, just wrap around a, uh, a thing. Put that there. And then... What was that? Did the screen just shake a bit too much? How are we doing defensively? Things are alright. We're hanging in there. Okay, um, right, so we need to start upgrading with titanium now. No, no, we need to go get more titanium. That's the one. More titanium, okay. Okay, so we can get all of that, and then can we get the last bits of this? I think we can. We can get everything out of there, that's sweet. Uh, and let's make sure our titanium belts... Well, actually, we won't need it straight away, but let's make sure that they... Uh... You know what I'm trying to say. I don't know what I was trying to say. <laughs> right, the only ones that can get juice are the last two. We could get some juice in, or maybe make a bridge, but I think we're just going to roll like that for now. Okay, and then we're going to go down. And then we want to go around. Actually, no we don't. So from there, I think we're going to need an upgrade, is what I'm saying. Just like that. Okay. You should use Steam Power, Asuma, says Logos Coder. Uh, we got something better than Steam Power. We got something amazing in our reserve. I think we've actually got everything we need to make it. Right, now that Titanium's going to come in faster, we need to upgrade this belt. And we probably need to rebuild this one, actually, of all things. Let's do that. Uh, let's get rid of that. And then... That and this. Get those two fixed. And that can join there. Look, it's stuff. These robots might get in the way. Yep, they're getting in the way. What are you doing, robots? Well, you're getting in the way. We know that. And it got in the way again. Jeez. Okay, right. Now we need more coal in here, right? Do you see why I'm trying to use the old titanium? It's so that we can do all of this. And now it all comes out a little bit quicker, right? But we can juice it up again with faster drills. And what do they need? They need this stuff. Is it getting in there? It is. Just not fast enough. Coolio! Let's read chat again. Uh, Taubar, welcome to the stream, dudes. Hi, everyone. This is almost Alice. Welcome to the stream. English is through the floor, says Jordan to music. My English? I hear some pew pew. I see some baddies up top. Let's help out today. No, not like that. Like this. Yeah. Cool. We're still going to do good, doing good on the defensive front. I have no idea how much of their base we've uh, destroyed. But if we look at how the silicon is doing over here, 
Are we ready? Are we ready for some serious upgrades here or something? Okay, this this one here clearly could do with a little bit more sand. Um, hmm. Not actually sure how I can put more onto it. I guess I'd have to come round from somewhere else. Believe it or not. Let's put in a distributor here. Okay. And then I'm going to put that attached to it. I don't know if that will really work or not. It might just mean things work a little. That actually looks like that's a solution. Good, good. Okay. So look at this belt here. Could it be faster? I don't think so because you can see the sand isn't fully distributed. But we are pumping in loads over here. So if I wanted to make a big array here, actually I'm getting distracted again, right? Like I'm constantly getting distracted. So we were actually trying to increase the amount of this stuff. Let's finish that off. Then we're going to do our power thing, I believe. Let's put two up there as well. And maybe a couple more titanium ba belts here and there. Looks like we might need it. Maybe not. And that one's not being built. There we go. Okay. So, potentially, way more of that stuff. Brilliant. Uh, looks like titanium's doing alright. Power. Power is what's next before we forget about it. So, we have an amazing setup. It is this one. Water plus power equals power. Uh, I needed to look at the information about it. We are making all of those things, and we have a stockpile of some of it, I believe. Look at that. We actually have pretty much everything but graphite down at the moment. So, we need to find a spot to build this. It'll end up being a very big array. I think here makes sense. Uh, also, do we get a bonus for being on this material? I don't know. Let's start at the bottom of the array, which will be pretty much there. And we're going to build two modules to begin with. And remember, it, it's built in a loop. So that goes back to the top. And we just build this stuff and it's not connected to anything yet and that's fine. Snake Breeder says, OK Boomer. It's OK Zuma! Jeez, you millennials. You young people. Uh, the Winnie says missing one titanium belt on the left. Uh oh. Where is this missing titanium belt? I do see that not all of that is titanium, which is actually fine. Missing a titanium belt. I feel like it should be obvious. Uh, I don't know. Anyway, all's good. At, all's good in the hood at the moment. Just got to build this stuff with whatever graphite we're producing. I mean, I could try and juice this up a little bit with some power. Um, like if I put a water drill there and gave it some power, that would juice it up a little bit. But then I got to spend graphite on that, don't I? Anyway, the pew pew wars are happening. I'm helping out. Are you Swedish? Or can you Swedish? Says Alex Pup. I am not Swedish and I can't Swedish either. I've tried to Swedish. I found it very confusing. There we go. So power is now coming up here. Uh, to the right places actually. This in theory is now starting to work. Just yeah, no spore pods should be getting made, and our power should start to get a bit juiced. The problem is, it needs power to get going, uh, but these things will put power back into the system. So we should see a little bit of a chain reaction. I just realised that we also need power nodes in this area in order to really get it going. Okay, there we go. That is a self-powering system that just needs a little bit of time to fire up. I hope we got enough power in the system to get it going, though. Because once it gets going, it'll get going, I'll tell you. 
Maybe I should have just started off with the one of these. How can we give it a quick power boost? Maybe if I took something else offline. Because this ain't getting going. Oh, no, no, it looks like it's starting to get some juice. I think this thing has just gotten going a little bit. Okay, so while that's powering up, let's go have a look. Okay, so our robots have just, you know, come out here and... The problem with the enemy, it looks like, is that they... Doesn't look like they really repair or expand. They've just got a load of stuff set up. They've just got tons of defenses and they just send waves. And we're kind of dealing with that easy peasy. Yeah, easy peasy. Cool, so how are we doing now? Any better? Power? No, it kind of looks like we're actually struggling to get going here. Yeah, maybe we do need a little bit of juice. Let's put um, a row of solar panels there. And then they at least get a little bit more from all of that, right? Hmm. What do you think, peeps? Uh, I'm gonna take I'm gonna take this offline. So that there's more power to go around here. I just feel like it's a tipping point, right? Like we're just gonna tip over the edge and then it's going to power itself continuously. It's get, it feels like it's getting close to that as well. Also, do I have to, like, do that? I'm not sure if that's the thing I really needed to do, but I've done it. I think it would have just... It would have gone through the connecting thing, the neighbour. Right, power is definitely getting a little higher here. And we're starting to see more spore pads coming through. Spore pods. I think, I think we're onto it. I think it's just kicked up a notch. Cool. Just gonna keep my eye on this, really. That's all I need to do. I could do some other upgrading stuff, right? Like, uh, what needs upgrading? Not a lot, really. We we juice this up, actually. Where else can we put some juice? Put a bit of juice there, a bit of juice here. Why not? Uh, that one's not connected, but that's fine, actually. Man, those things are getting wrecked. Ours are going to get wrecked, though, if I don't come over here and help. Yeah, against a better AI, this, this would be tough, but... Okay, I'm starting to wonder if what I did a moment ago was a bad idea or not. Still not quite there. Uh, Talbar says, I struggled with power a lot on this level. Okay, good to know. What about that phase stuff? Like getting in some large solar panels looks kind of alright. But that phase... Where does it come from again? It comes from that one, so you need Forium. Alright, oh, never mind. That probably is on the map somewhere. Um... I wonder if I'm doing this right or wrong. Do I need more of this? Should I... Should I just stick with it? It is supposed to be like a self-contained system. So if I do that for a moment, let's see what happens now. Like, will it power itself better this way? Maybe if I get a couple of batteries up here as well. I could put in a couple of large batteries in the area. And then hook them up. And then the batteries are a clear sign as if, if we're power positive or not. And it looks like we are. But can we start to scale this up? I mean, in theory, it's always running now, right? And our efficiency is tapped out about 75%. And these things appear to always be online. So I think now it is... Look at that. Self-sufficient, but probably not producing enough power to sustain the rest of the system. So if we look over here, we can see we're not doing good elsewhere. So before we go any further, here's what we're going to do. Get rid of that. Uh, we're going to take all of that. Actually, not. I'm not going to do the uh, extra power cells yet. Okay, so I think I just scale it up once. Scale it up twice. Wrap it around over here. And obviously I want to get a wall in place. There's a lot of pew pew going on over here. Pew 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 pew! I'm 
Banner ease would help, says Safia. Uh, no, well, I put the batteries here so we could see what's going on. This is now a its own power network, right? The reason batteries wouldn't have really helped when it was disconnected is because they wouldn't have had anything to store. We've got a power deficit that we need to overcome. This thing needs to make more power than the rest of the system is demanding. So by separating it, we're giving it an opportunity to get everything running at max. So all of those spore pods that went around will now have these ones running. Um, and so we just got to check them all one by one. And you can see their power output is sustaining. Now down here, we should really start to see this kick up speed. Look at that. Look how much speed it's kicked up by. So now everything else attached in this area should be running at full efficiency. And then we leave it for a while, I guess. I think that's good. Let's go ahead and bring it back into the network. Okay, so now what's going on here, as long as those batteries tick up, we're still supplying the rest of the network. And as you can see, we are power positive by about a thousand there. That's really good. Sweet. Uh, we've got flying stuff coming in. I was not prepared for that. Okay, and we've got lead here. Wow. Okay, just as I was about to go and do something totally different, we have to shift gears. Um, let's do that. I'm not sure in actually what I'm trying to do in total here. Okay, I see. Um, that was actually probably pretty poor. Start again. Uh, we're going to take... No, again, doesn't make sense. Let's take... One, two, three, four, like that. And we're going to have to run some belts here that need to go kind of either way. Hmm. Let's put a router there so it can go back across. And then we'll need uh, a router and a gun. That'll be the scatter, and then we'll put one over here as well with a router. Uh, by the way, we've got a noise in the ear from Bobo Americanic. Bobo, thank you so much for your uh, support. I appreciate your subscription. Thanks for using your Amazon Prime on me. I do appreciate it. Okay, now we have anti-air defense in sort of temporarily, and I need that there. Let's go ahead and just beef it up a little bit in case they come further around. So I'm going to put uh, one, two, like that. And then we'll have a gap one, two, there as well. Alright, so anti air is now in place. And I think we are going to need to do a couple of things in terms of defense here. We've slowly been losing walls. Uh, what we're going to do is put in a mending thing over here. Apparently I derped because of the routers. What did I do? Oh, I see the problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's quite easily fixable. Yeah, I should have noticed that. I see the problem. Thanks for pointing it out, peeps. Thanks for pointing it out. See, derp avoided. Teamwork. Okay. Mender we're going to put behind over here each time. Okay, maybe maybe an extra one there to get those walls. Um, then the power network should be pretty simple from here. Okay, there we go. So everything's a little bit more connected. Very good. Uh, and we've got loads of power in the network. And this thing is self-sustaining, which is a beautiful thing. Okay. Silicon over here, we can probably get more of this out now, I think, with titanium belts. We can certainly get more coal in the system, and that means we can probably get more sand in the system with it. So if we upgrade all of these belts, like so, going into that one distributor there, we are now prepped to do a lot more of this. So I'm going to take this and treat it like an array. Okay, if I do that... It is perfect. Because we can just do that. And we've got just enough space to chuck it all in. Beautiful. Alright. 
Now, can we get silicon going a little bit harder here? I believe we can. Uh, we need this one here to now be, I think, this type of belt. And then both of these outputs are going to need upgrading. And then maybe the coal belt needs upgrading as well. Okay, let's do that. Let's just undo those. And start from there. Very nice, right? Very nice indeed. Okay, so we should see silicon now getting produced even faster. And that means all of this down here. Look at them go. We've got loads of them heading over there now. Right, let's go check out what's going on over here. I can get involved. Look, I can pew pew. Oh, all the pew pew. Look at me pew pewing. I'm just as valuable as these little robots we're sending out. Oh, I see. They ain't got any, any ammunition. Oh, okay. I'm backing out. I'm back. Whoa, hello. You lot, lot, you lot look mean, if I could get a sentence out properly. Right, we kind of want our robots to actually go a little bit more into their path, I think, to help us defend. They're part of our defense as well. So I think what we'll do is uh, move the wall about a bit. Right, and let's look at where we're going to need mending here. Or maybe not. Yeah, look, they don't actually cover that. Oh, apparently I put two in. Eh, we'll leave it at two. Cool, alright. The wall gets healed now as well. And we've got a crazy robot factory going on. Let's check out if we can get our silicon in faster. It looks like coal, as I suspected, is now in need of an upgrade. Let's go ahead and rebuild this line here. For now. Ah, look at this. Okay, we definitely need titanium in here, don't we? Uh, except let's come to that bit there break that. Go down by one. Okay, get all of that out of there. And then... Uh, like that. Cool. Try the alpha pads and doors, says Logos Coder. We should totally look at the other robots available to us, shouldn't we? I could also use doors, you're probably right. Now, another thing that would uh, boost up here is obviously water. We can get free with that one. So we might as well bring power over here, and if ever there's uh, an attack from this side, we can be on that. Right. Let's drag that like so. That's always easier, isn't it? Cool. Alright, so now we got that one going a little bit faster. Get rid of all of that. Sweet! And, you know, as fast as I can, really, is what's going on here. We could, we could do more and make it faster, but we've made a, a big improvement over here. One thing I might want to do, if we just look at this, is put routers here to increase the amount of silicon going in, but I'm going to leave it at that. I'm going to leave it at that. Oh, oh, hello. What kind of terrors have you been causing over here? We just discovered you. Oh, wow. Looks like I need more anti-air defense. Yeah, these things could be like a big disruption. Okay, and we're getting attacked over there as well. Right, let's, uh, let's look at our defense. Grab that. Uh, flip it. Rotate it, something. Okay, we're going to put this going here. And then rotate it. And then put some belts in. Right, if you spot any destruction here, let me know. We've got a crazy noise in the air, so I'm going to read that. Uh, let all of this build. It's Defense 041 for 46 months on Emerald Facing Chat. 
Defense, welcome to the stream. Thank you ever so much for your continued support over the years. 46 months, it's incredible. Appreciate it. Does anyone spot anything that got blown up? I think a belt got blown up at the very end there, but it was fine. Aha, look at that. That's not good, is it? I think they must have literally just come in here. It really feels like they ain't been in here for long. Uh, they could also fly over and cause trouble in these areas, but... I don't seem to be doing that. Let's check out what our robots are up to. Having a bit of a skirmish, are ya? Little bit of a skirmish going on over here. Oh, they're getting toasted. Yeah, let's check out the other types of robots as well. So, we've done this one. The dagger. What does the crawler do? Self-destructing swarm. Ray fighter. Hit and run interceptor units. I like the sound of that. So if we could bring our silicon and titan, uh, titanium together, which we could quite easily, we can do these as well. Let's go to the array schematic. Uh, flip it like that. And then just, uh, yeah, reduce it to about two. Was that the right one? I believe it was. Hit and run. Okay, so we do that. Now we need two materials coming in here. We're going to grab a router over here and a router over there uh, drag these up flip them into there and then similar thing going on over here and there's already power in the area I'm also not building let's build let's do this you know so how are we doing over here for materials we need to bring back more silicon possibly for the next launch but we should be good by the end of it so aha we have a problem we need a junction should have made a junction, right? When I dragged it over. So in goes titanium and silicon, and these things will be producing real soon. Alright, what's the situation up here? Aha! There go the flying units. Right, and we just took care of them. We're going to need power up here, and we're going to need menders. Geordie's putting a derp face in chat. What did I do now? What is this latest derp, apparently? Well, that'll connect to the network through that solar panel, won't it? But I would also like it to have its own little proper connection like so. Very good. Right. Now stuff can get repaired like the wall. Okay, so basically every wave is like continuously coming back across to where we are. And we doesn't look like we made any progress in a while. So even though I've upped what's going on down here, we definitely need something different. Now, that is one of our own, and that is a flying unit. Where is it going to go? Maybe I should get the command center going. Okay, I think it just sort of suicided its way up there. Uh, so, command center. Command center, let's check it out. Issues. Movement commands to allied units across the map causes units to rally, attack an enemy to the core or a factory. When no enemy core is present, units will default to patrolling under the attack command. Um, does this thing need power? I'm just going to put it like here, you know. Oh, <laughs> that thing walked over it. It doesn't want to be commanded, clearly. Right, it looks like it takes a long time to make that. This is like modern day Total Annihilation Simplified, says Don't Shoot. That's a game I've always wanted to play. Attack, retreat, rally. Mm. So I guess I set a rally point. I'm just going to leave them on attack. I, 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 I like the way they just roll out, you know. It's, uh, it's good. Right, do we need more silicon? Is that the trick? Because we can clearly get more sand going over here. Yeah, let's do that. Uh... Alright, and then we should have more stuff getting pumped in here. Might also help to make that. Let's just do that in case that somehow messes around with it. Uh, I think what we might need to do is do that. Yeah, that seems to be a little bit on the helpful side, doesn't it? 
Okay, so more sand coming in, more silicon coming out, should be the theory. If we look at coal, coal can be faster overall. So what can we do up here to get more bang for our buck, is the question. There's no other coal deposit to mine close by. So we need to get more juice from this. Um, see, we're getting a little bit of a faster speed from that. How do we get pipes, more pipes in here? How do we get them to connect effectively to multiple things? If we look at bridges in the pipes, bridge conduit, how far does it extend? Because I think that outputs to whatever's around it, so we could bridge to there. I could bridge here and here and get, you know, one, two, three, but I can't... Hmm. Change to laser drill, says Talbar. Whoa, suggestion. I like it. And then put water next to it. Right. Should we just rebuild the whole thing for a moment? As I like that suggestion. We're going to just rebuild the whole thing for a moment, peeps. Might not be the brightest idea ever, but we're doing it. Okay, and that can go. Uh, so we can really get into this. 142. 142. How can I put this in a place where we get the most of those? One one one, one two six. Oh, now we won't know. Well, anyway, we're gonna get those ones going. The idea is to keep them over one, right? So now we'll settle for a little bit less for that. Okay, then our belt can go like this. We can also put some other drills around, like regular drills, once we put that infrastructure in. Okay, uh, power is needed over on this side. So now we've got it. Okay, so that's not full yet, and that's fine. Let's go get these things connected up to some water pipe pumps. Uh, we're going to need... Right, the things can go around the back there so we're gonna put conduit for water here here and there so that's gonna come from over this way uh, that's gonna be a router isn't it okay let's route the water and then over here every other will be a router might actually need to upgrade the type doing it this way. Okay, so now we're pumping out tons of water into here. And immediately this thing is full, which might mean we could actually have this belt here be separate. Now those ones only got a little bit of water. In fact, they've all only got a little bit of water, but it boosts it massively. Right. This is where our whole array could get bigger, technically, for silicon, right? Let's actually make the whole array bigger now. By getting rid of all of that. Ah, we are definitely going to run out of some room here. In fact, we're going to really renegotiate all of this. Okay. Um, so, come back to that. Yeah, we're going to add that much capacity. Hmm. So we need two sand belts going up here. Let's get rid of a little bit more of that. We have two sand belts going up. One's going to turn around and go down here. The other's going to go across. Ah, let's get this right. Sand is there. Whoa, what is it doing up there? How did it get onto that belt? Um, it's every other anyway, so that is sand, that is sand. Top. Top is sand. Good. Which means it would go in here, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, now we need to get coal in around the back. This is very crazy layout. Like that. This one, similar thing going on. 
so it's going to come out there and then it's going to go all the way down here and in at that point crazy uh, I don't like the way oh we didn't get a we didn't get a junction up here okay so how about that then we need more power up the top How are we doing now? We haven't mixed up the belts, which is terrific. Kind of looks like we might need more titanium around this area. And that looks like a full belt of silicon going on. Now let's go back here and add a couple of things. Uh, I like having a distributor to work as like a belt balancer. So that's cool. If we look at how much water this is getting, kind of looks like we could do with an extra one. Uh, I could do that. And I will do that, but what I can also do is put them on this side. So now it's really pumping in the water. Okay, the water is definitely coming in. And this belt is pretty much maxed out. If I want to add in a teeny tiny bit more, I can do that. And put in this. And have it point down here. So that's probably about the best, most juice I'm going to get out of those. Actually, I can do that and that as well. Cool. Adding more smelters doesn't help as much as adding more points for coal and sand. Yeah, you might be right there, but look at this. We do have... We do have... Yeah, you're probably right, but it's working. I can see sand moving over in all locations. So what we're going to do... This distributor that we're here is essentially going to do the same thing here now. Which might, again, seem a little bit silly, but whatever. You know, I haven't fought it all the way through, have I? Uh, let's do that. And then clearly we can get more onto this. So let's do that. Let's get more there. Uh, this one. More here. For now. Let's get a bigger belt. And that's pretty much maxed out or getting close to. I think I can see a problem here that these drills are probably now not getting used. Let's put a router in along there. So now it will just dump some up there so these ones can help. Right, that's two full belts. Pretty much probably about the best I can get it right. So now what we're looking at is this thing is all tapped out again and we actually need to upgrade this belt. That is a very good thing. Because it means that we can support all kinds more production around here. So we've built a couple of these. We could probably tap, tap this out a bit quite easily. Just by copying that and putting that here. That didn't work. There we go. And then we need another one of these somewhere. And I think I know where to build it. Okay, let's pause the game. So we're going to do that again. Uh, let's fly over here, and I'm going to rotate it. Uh, where are the belts going in? We want them to go in that way, I think. Actually, I'm really not sure what I'm looking at all of a sudden. So we had... I think the input is that side, but I need to flip it like that. So the input would be from those two belts. Right, I'm literally going to put that there and do this. Routers, 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 routers. And then we've got another bunch being produced over here, and I haven't in any way prepared it for any kind of scaling, have I? But hey, that'll work. That will work, my friends. That will work. Cool, so we're now producing more than ever. And what I'd really like to see is us start to knock out the base a lot more. Yeah, it kind of looks like... Uh... Oh, you're a baddie. Oh, look, these things are coming sort of all over the place for the looks of it. Hang on. No, no, you shouldn't be down here. Woo. Right, we might need to put in some defense in this area then. These are looking great, by the way. All of these are running. This over here is now running as well. Terrific. All right, 
right, wave 34. How how far into their base have we gone? Maybe I can help like knock out some key bits and bobs. Okay, there's kind of this middle area here that I can stand. Yeah, I'm just going to keep shooting at that. Take these out. <laughs> this is cool. I like getting involved. We're, we're helping the cause. I, I, I'm in like a little blind spot. Oh, no, I'm not. <laughs> Something came along and shot me. What do you think we need more of, peeps? Maybe more of this? We are producing some. Not enough, because the silicon's just going everywhere else. So we might have done a great job upgrading this, but it's all it's all tapped out at this point, the silicon. Uh, it's also getting put onto that belt, but that's not really an issue for us. Copper apparently is all full up. I could be sending some of this stuff uh, elsewhere, couldn't I? Let's go ahead and do this. Oh, I'm, I'm not building. I'm going to put a distributor there, and then a thing. What's the thing? What is it even called? What does it look like? Is it that? Alpha Alpha mech pad? Wait, we haven't messed around with that stuff yet. Launch pad, that's what I want. Uh, what are the alpha mech things again? Provides transformation into a basic attack mech used by tap standing on it. So do I become a tap mech? Uh, it just uses power to build. Wow. Let's give that a try. Let's go put that somewhere. Uh, how about here? Because it would be cool to use that. Right, give it a tap. No? What does it mean by that? What Tauber said, someone said in chat. What did Tauber say? You can change your own unit to a fighter. Is it like this? How do I interact with it? Oh! Right, I get above it and then I click on it. Oh, this is fun. This is cool. New content unlocked. Oh look, we're one of them! Uh, now, I wonder if we're stronger. It'd be nice to be stronger. Oh, okay, right. I've got to navigate through stuff like you lot do. I see, I see. Whoa, those look slightly different. Whoa. They got close to that wall, didn't they? Right, where are we going, my chums? Look, we've got a massive streak of us. Let's get right into the middle of the core already. Yeah, let's shoot that. Now, I, I will stand here and shoot until it's destroyed. Although this is basically a distraction to them if you look at what's going on here. Right, let's sneak in this side. Ooh, let's get rid of this anti-air so I can come back as an air unit. Come on! This is taking a long time. It'd be nice to know like how much damage you've actually done. Obviously I'm still damaging it, but... Hey, this will help our flying units a little bit as well. Right, I'm going to get the next one. Logo says stand on it. Stand in it. I think those messages might be a little bit old. BG Monster says pew pew. Pew pew indeed. It is the time of the pew pew. Right, we are, we are helping out. Whoa! No! Okay, we need to get rid of those. Okay, no. Unless these lot go there. Oh, wait. This might be where the target point thing helps. Now, we've got to learn how to use that. We've got to learn how to use the target point. Everyone's saying pew pew pew. Indeed. I don't even know if I can do any building at this point. Also, if we found some other materials, there's other types, but, uh... Right, what do we want to do? We want to... Oh, God, I can't remember. Target. Yeah, so command center. This thing here. So, what if I do that? Rally. Uh, we probably want you to keep going, but where do I rally them to? Oh, it rallies it to here. Okay, no, we want you to keep attacking then. So, I have to build a command center to tell them what point to go. That kind of sucks. I'd like to rally them to a particular point out on the field. Anyway, we've got a huge cluster of these things coming now. Sarah says, Asuma, I wanted to drop in and say I love your videos, especially Asuma says, while I'm a big fan of your Minecraft content, I really enjoy everything you do. I'm glad to see you having fun with other games and projects. I put a lot of value in your thought and opinions because you don't act like you know everything. So I hope to see more of your waffling in the future. Sarah, thank you for the lovely message, dude. I'm glad you appreciate the uh, Asuma says content. I'm all about ignorance. I'm all about... All about um, the what we don't know, right? And I'm always amazed at how much there actually is of it. In myself, in all of us. We all have, like, ignorances and things we don't know about. Yet we're kind of hardwired to think we do. I'm actually listening to another book about this kind of stuff again called Loser Think. I've been really enjoying it. Right, um, we're getting deep into the enemy's base. 
I think we're just naturally destroying stuff. Whoa! Um, easy! Easy! Easy there! Woo! Woo! Easy! Oh, hang on! Hang on! We're kind of surrounded. Okay, I'm panicking. Just like Anakin. Whoa! Whoa! Okay, I'm on my own. It's not good. Right, let's... I, I don't even know what that is, but we're trying to take it out. Oh, let's take out, like, power. Oh, come on. Go on. Go on. Take out a power node. Oh, man. We've got to take out a power node. That'll chop them down. You can rally them around the command center and let them build up. Then they attack at the same time to make a big wave. The reason I don't want to do that is because our attack is our defense at the moment. I'm actually going to remove some walls here so they might pathfind a little closer to the, uh, the bad guys. In fact, I might try and manipulate their movement a little bit. Let's do that. Uh, oh, we're not going to get a chance here, are we? Yeah. Okay, manipulating their movements so they're just a little bit more north. Now, that's why I don't want to rally them up, because they are actually our defence. Our defence isn't very strong, but the fact that we're constantly attacking is part of our defence. So if we interrupt that, we might be in trouble. Now, I actually destroyed that power node. That's good. So that might help. Uh, I want to look for other ways to get in here and be a bit more sneaky. Okay, I think that... Whoa, that weapon is disabled now. That's good. Where can we next start to hurt? I think we've got to just take out that power node, maybe. Because that's connected to something. Right, we just stopped ammunition getting into those guns that are firing as well. Okay, that's good. Where else can we stop some ammunition getting in? Whoa, jeez! I'm terrified immediately! Get them away from me! Oh my goodness me! That is a huge swarm. Okay, the, these swarms are getting a little bit bigger. Oh, I'm being hounded. I think we need to take a different approach here. Uh, I, we're also going to need more anti-air defense, like, immediately. Now, how do I how do I go back to being the other one? Do I just click on it like that and I go back? Okay, I'm back. We probably need... Oh, oh good God, they're in. Uh, we need our units to attack that way. Oh, my goodness me. We need a defensive line back here. We need a weapon. Okay, we need that. Build it quick, because they're in. They're in. That's our line of defense. Shoot already! Why aren't you shooting? No power? Our, our power should be good. Is our network terrible? Oh my goodness me, I might lose this level. Uh, wow. Not quite what I expected. How is our power bad? Okay. We somehow survived. Uh, that is extraordinary. I thought we were about to kill this level off and then, whoa. Okay. Uh, we need a lot of stuff repaired here. This is, that was very harsh. We took a big hit. And we've got to carefully repair everything. This defense is not adequate now. And the next wave is in 40 seconds. I thought we needed anti-air defense. Now we need all sorts. Why is power so bad though? I know I've been... I needed to have made this here bigger, right? If this collapse... Oh, this this just might be it. Because if that collapses, then everything collapses. So, I, in order to defend, I need to take this offline, probably. Uh, let's disconnect that. Let's disconnect that. That is now offline. Uh, I'm going to take these offline. We're no longer attacking with those. How's the power network now? Still terrible. I expanded loads of stuff without really thinking about it. We overdid this. Uh, what happened here? Just power low. So I'm going to disconnect uh, that and that. And then I need to build a metaglass thing there. I can't believe this. It kind of makes sense though. Right, actually no I don't. Okay, so we've disconnected that. No wait, I've probably done that the wrong way around. What I should have done is taken them off like that. Okay, that's all offline. Very good. How are we doing now? Power is still terrible. Right, we are still sending units up and counter-attacking. How can we remedy this quickly, peeps? Any suggestions? Use some coal for a steam generator. 
I think that is a fantastic suggestion. Uh, emergency measures need to be taken here. We need to put in routers and uh, routers and steam generators or whatever they're called. Where are they? Power. Combustion, that's the one. Oh, do you suggest is steam, right? Anyway. Nope, that's... Oh, wait, I've got to build it. Okay. Uh, that's actually kind of like rubbish because that's there. What's the best way I want to do this? Overflow gate in reverse would basically be it. Isn't that a thing? Reverse overflow gate? Or am I imagining something? Overflow gate. Sorter. Distributor. Router. Inverted sorter. No. Inverted overflow is what we want. Hmm. Okay, we're going to move that and put it here. And I'm going to try something different. Oh, apparently I just destroyed some of the water there. Oh, that one didn't build as well. Gonna need a power node. Maybe connecting it that way around and then disconnecting the rest of this might be a good idea. Okay, two of them are online at least. Yeah, might need to, uh, might need to just disconnect that from everything else for a moment and get it to run independently, which might not even be possible. How are we doing over here? Oh my goodness. Oh, we're done. We're done. Oh, <laughs> oh no, we're totally done. <laughs> They're bringing out some mega demon beasts now. Right, so when I saw Zistu play this level, he was like really cautious about defense and stuff, and now I think I know why. We have to learn a lesson in order to do this level, basically. If I had a, if I had a save point, I could totally just go back like 10 minutes and be fine, but that's not even possible, is it? These things aren't even going to come online at this point. Okay, we've got one shot away. Two shots. And, oh, maybe we will be okay. Let's be optimistic here. Oh, wait, I'm being swarmed by these things. Okay. Maybe optimism, you know. Maybe, maybe we'll call it a day. What do you think, peeps? I think, I think we have to do this level again. But we've learned some valuable lessons, right? Oh, and I'm dead. Should we watch us get wrecked? See how long it takes for them to get to the core. I'm not really going to do anything but observe now. Because they're going to destroy our power network sooner or later. And then it's going to be... Yeah, core is under attack. They're sitting here. So it's just a matter... Oh, I think we're actually going to lose. Wow. Cool. That's, you know... That's a lesson learned, isn't it? Emma Lou Didu is here for 37 months in a row. Thank you, Emma. I appreciate it. Also, seven minutes ago, Milway subscribed with Amazon Prime. Jordan Young, 087 with the Prime subscription. Appreciate it, peeps. Appreciate it. Uh, hope you enjoyed that. Dying's not bad. We can learn from it and improve. We're going to give that one another shot. What one was it again? Salt Flats. This one looks so cool. That was, that was a lot of fun. Uh, thank you so much for your subscription, Emma. Uh, peeps, be sure to hit the follow button. I'm just going to go to the toilet for a second, then I'll be back, alright? Don't go anywhere. The stream ain't over yet. I'm back, my friends. You can never have too many walls, batteries, or basic turrets, says Coldy Lay. You can't really, can you? Because the um, the uh, the copper is just so cheap. Right, I'm looking forward to replaying this because now I know that we need to create a real beefy defence. Um, I also know the map, the layout. It's not random each time, is it? 
Let's start off with actually tearing out. Wait, what's going on here? Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm not ready yet. Okay, let's start off with tearing out uh, that. Believe it or not. Oh, now I really want to put that one little block back. <laughs> That's the strangely odd. This is no way helpful. Uh, okay, we're going to do... Because I want to get this stuff rolling in straight away. What am I doing here? What is the plan? I think the plan is just to make sure we've got a little bit coming in straight away. Cool. Uh, then let's get a drill here and here. No, not there. And then we're going to have our belt come in through this space this time. Cool. Um, and then we can start off on this bit. You know, the drill peeps got to get the drills. It's like a pun because we're, we're working with drills. I don't need to explain it, do I? I don't really need to explain it. Uh, and let's build more of that. There we go. We've got a noise in here from Anonymous gifting us up to Radiant Dusk 33. Anonymous, thank you for gifting a sub. Big fan of your poetry. Love it. Can't get enough of it. Um, thank you ever so much. I appreciate it. Mysterious stranger. We've got to wrap that one around to get all of this. Yeah, thank you so ever so much for the uh, gifted subs and supporting the community. It is appreciated. Nice. I get a watch from the start, says Don't Shoot. Yes, yeah, so for all you peeps who don't know the game, it's a mix of Factorio and Tower Defense. And what we start off by doing is trying to get our copper coming in as quick as we can. We want lots and lots of this, okay? So that's why you're seeing a lot of action going on over here. I think I might even put an extra drill right there. We're going to need this copper so much. It's kind of in the way of other things going in. Anyway, just like last time, we're going to get our next batch of copper um, through here. Okay, and therefore I'm going to have a couple of temporary drills before we use the next bit of space. And then that is actually going to be right like that, so that stuff can go. And we've got a little robot thing over here. Oh look, we had things there as well, helping us out last time, I didn't even notice. Cool, we need to get copper in, in crazy quantities, so the next one is here. Get all of that out of there, then all of that, I think. I think I can do that. Uh, Cold Elay says, if possible, build steam generators, they're worth it. Well, we built them last time. Ponymus says, got your copper coming in. Yeah, we made that joke earlier, Pony, okay? Alright? You're late on that one, alright? Oh, I was already there, okay? I already did the hee-hee-ha-ha -ha on that one. Jeez. Stealing my jokes, are ya? Even though you were never here to hear it. Oh, you make me sick. I don't even know what I'm saying half the time when I, when I goof. <laughs> it's just a bunch of nonsense, really. Right, let's get more of this copper out of here. And let's get copper off of YouTube. See, I did it again. Made the joke. Watching you and feeding my rats is the best, is the theme. Oh, cool. you got pet rats. <laughs> what was it I heard something the other day? Like, three species that have something in common. And it was like, rats, cockroaches, and humans. And it was something to do about how they, like, leech off their environment, I think. It cracked me up. Anyway, rats are cool. I like rats. Right, there we go. Copper be coming in. Now we go over here and we do the lead. We've got 33 seconds. Oh, look, there's... Ah, we could sneak in an extra belt from down there. I never noticed that before. So if that becomes a necessity at any point. Now we know about it. And then let's go there. Alright, so belt... Belt across the bottom and up to there and in there. Right, so that's all of those ones, and then we'll go around 
and about. Get all of those ones. Cool. Lead and copper are now things. Right. Let's start to work on defence. Because we don't have much time. To defend the first wave, we might be okay. Uh... I think I'm going to wait and see where the first wave comes down, but we should probably... Yeah, we can build something temporary, can't we? Okay, so... I want to get this copper belt wrap it around the corner and heading up. So we're in front. Yeah, that's good. Okay, so around here we're going to put in distributor. And it's going to have these on its sides. It's a really cool design, I like that. Okay, 16 seconds. I believe this copper will probably get up there in time. So these things will have ammunition. Let's pop back down here. Can this be beefed up? Clearly it can. Uh, but in which way do we want to do that? For now I think the extra one will probably just help. There we go. Right, and that stuff's getting distributed. Cool. Okay, the enemy wave's about to come in. What have we got going on down here? Full belt of lead. That happened last time, actually. So, uh, let's go ahead. Oh, what happened there? Let's go ahead and do that. Just like last time. Also, is copper getting backed up here? I'm not sure. Yeah, no, it is. So it might be smarter to do a distributor again here. Not sure if that would actually help or not. Anyway, I just noticed that that drill wasn't running. Okay, where is their wave coming from? We're already destroying stuff of theirs. There is their first wave. It's literally one unit. What a waste of time. Uh, here's what we're going to do now. We've got loads of copper coming in. We need more space than we had last time. We're going to build that wall. And we're going to build it with this stuff. BAM! It's going to take a while, but we can at least lay down the blueprints to begin with. And we're going to use this copper patch here for our first line of defense. I've just decided. Uh, just like that. There we go. That should be pretty well optimized. Asuma and thoughts about Automation Empire, says Altafa. Thoughts about it? What is Automation Empire? A game? Woohoo! Right. Behind this, I think what we'll do is the classic setup of the duos. Okay, because we're really. We're just going to spam. Spam defense is our uh, approach to begin with. And you might think I'm bonkers for doing this. And I could well be, actually. It would probably be a good idea to get another copper belt in to defend with. Alright, so let's go... Ooh, you're kind of like walking into our base. We don't like that. We need to get that wall. We need to get that wall built in. Already. Okay. Uh, that looks good. Then that. And then that. Nice. Noise! How are we going to get it out of here? I just noticed the other belt is in the way. That's not very good. Maybe I'll put a little jump over it somewhere. Actually, that is kind of awkward. Uh, I could do that. That could go that way around. And out onto that bit. Meaning that becomes redundant. Meaning we can sneak through here. Okay, and I'm going to go up one more over. And in there. Okay, and now we're pumping in loads more copper. Brilliant. Maybe even one more in the end. Sweet! Okay, because we're going to need all that copper to do some more defense. Interesting way to build. Right, 
now that stuff's getting distributed. And look, a baddie! Hang on, I'm going to have to do some defence. What is with my defence right now? Bam, get wrecked. Okay, back up here. Uh, build very thick walls and tons of scatters. You're not going to need that much copper and lead for much else anyway. Also, large clusters of enemies build arcs and lances. You can always use walls to direct enemy movement to hit as many enemies possible with every single lance of shots, says Coldy Lay. You're absolutely right. Um, we've, we've done that stuff in the past. I'm going to be thinking about it a bit more. You know, now. Here's another thing, right? Like, they're probably not going to come. Actually, do you know what? I'm going to cancel this. They're not going to come that far over that way, are they? And it actually takes me time to build the defense. So, on some measures, it does need to be somewhat calculated. You know, most of this is probably actually useless. So. Maybe we should get the wall built first and then figure out where they're going to turn up, you know? That might be a far better way of doing this, otherwise I'm spending a lot of time building stuff we don't use. The idea here is also to get kind of closer to their base as well, so we have an easier jump off point. Right, now that looks like it's going to be close enough. So let's go ahead and get those here, and that coming all the way across. Yeah, the ammunition ain't going to arrive for a second, is it? Come on, come on! I gotcha! I'm the one doing all the defending! Right. Uh, now we resume with the building. And we ain't got no coal coming through. Yeah, because all these things that ain't ever going to use it are eating it up, basically. Let's do that. That was, a, that was a poor start, but, you know, don't worry about it. Cool. Right, we need to repeat the success of this little bit of defence. And just, let's get at least that many in for now. And then as for the wall, I'm going to leave a gap in the wall. Just for a moment. Okay, cool. Right, now let's head back down here. Now that that's a bit more defended and start working on... Uh, the stuff doesn't go through because the router chains are very slow, says Lord Crom. If we pump a titanium belt into it, it will then they will then run faster later on. Um, speaking of titanium, we need to get on making graphite. Big time. Okay, so graphite press, we mine all of this, suck it down here. Uh, we're going to do the classic, the old flip like that. Okay, we've got a noise in the ear from FTB Maniac saying, Howdy X. Howdy, FTB Maniac. Thank you ever so much for the cheers and bits, dude. Appreciate it. Hope you're enjoying the stream. A little bit of something different, right? I've been enjoying playing this game a heck of a lot, as you're probably aware. But yeah, thank you for the uh, cheers and bits, dude. Let's get that out of there. Don't know how I did it before, but that's the way I'm doing it today. Potentially, lots of room around the outside to pump water in, I've just realised as well. Now, isn't that unfortunate? I'm leaving a little bit of space for water pipes. And we have to do that. Graphite press. Let's do it. I think I want to focus on making this array bigger earlier as well. Okay, and where's the output going to go? Let's say we bring it in on this side. Then that is just off by one. So let's just do that. Get it ready for the future already. Check Automation Empire on Steam, please. Um, I guess suggested quite a few games. I might have seen that one. And I check it out. Whenever someone suggests a game to me, I check it out. But Automation Empire, I've got a feeling it's one that I've seen and probably not like the look of. I don't know, or tried and didn't get along with. Okay, if I'd have left a space between those, we could have gotten so much... Actually, I'm going to do that. Because I think it's faster, even though we're sort of picking up less coal, right? If I put a space there, we can have a water pipe go through it. That's what I think could be different. I guess that means I have to leave that open there as well. Actually, no, now I need a belt there. Hmm. Well, 
Let's hope the water can make the difference in the future, because I'm going to give that a try. Alright, so now we got lots of this stuff coming in. And we got graphite. Graphite means we can upgrade the drills. Yeah, we should we should like really knuckle down on getting this thing maxed out pretty quick. I think that's a smart idea. Because now we can upgrade the drills, right? drills that make the graphite. Do you know the game Rise of Kingdoms, says Athene? I, it sounds familiar, yeah. Right, so they attack that wall there, that's to be expected, and then they come in here. And it looks like they get kind of close and destroy something at the end there. Right. Oh, and me, apparently. They destroy me as well. King Blue says, do you remember FTL Fast and Light? Oh yeah, yeah, definitely remember that one. That was a lot of fun. So I think what we'll do is have that there, and this, one of those on the ends, a couple more walls, as we destroy stuff here, more walls is good. Cool, alright, we'll let that do its thing. Um, look at this, that is ridiculous, it actually stops. Oh, that's really bad. It stops the original thing. I didn't realise. How can I... Wait, Q. Wait, what is going on here? Oh, I, that is very strange. I thought that they would keep working. I really did. Uh, that's really, really bad. That's just slowing us down immensely. What an absolute bummer. Ah, oh, I... I thought they kept working until they got replaced. Oh, that's the total slowdown all of a sudden. Okay. I'm getting some of those drills up here. Good. We need it. Zarkus says it looks like a 2D Factorio. It's a good way of describing it. I'm going to uh, try and help ourselves out a little bit here by bringing up more in case we need it. Okay, I'm going to extend the wall again. That'll also push our units in by that side just by a little bit. Uh, I might also be able to like help these. Right, if I if I attack just on that corner, yeah, let's get right. Does that does stop in the distribution of some of those bits of copper right there? I like that. We just helped out. We're micromanaging our way to success. Come on, build. Oh, I got to press that to do that. Yeah, look, now I've got to do it manually. This is silly. But hey, we're slowly getting more graphite. Oh, that slowed me down big time, hasn't it? What's going on with this belt as well? This one's really backed up. I feel like we could make this better. I'm going to get rid of those. And I'm going to put this here. And then... Get rid of that. And put a load of stuff there. Cool, that works. That works for me. Ah, look at this. This could do with being a double belt as well. Oh well. Anyway, titanium will help with that. Cool, can I click on more of these and make them build already? No, yes. Okay, that's stuff we can. That's weird. Doesn't this cost graphite? Maybe it just costs lead. Right now, I have to manually build everything. This is this is a slower start than last time. I thought I'd have the advantage, but I don't. Let's uh, let's get rid of that stuff. It's going to be in the way. Right, what we've got to do next? Metaglass, silicon. Let's get our metaglass done. I think we overproduce metaglass, so we'll do a one array and call it that. Um, lead and glass. Let's put it in a different position this time. Let's put it over here. Okay, then we need kilns. Oh yeah, this means we're going to need power. Glad I thought of that. Okay, six of those, and then what do we need? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, I can go to here, and then to there. These ones can go down, across. Cross. 
Nice. Yeah, we need more power first. So, power generation. How did we get it going last time? We put combustion in here. No, we put it on either side. And then we put routers there. Now, that does mean that we're going to, I believe, produce slightly less silicon for a while. Let's also get a battery in the system early on. If we can afford it. Battery. Just a couple. And then connect those up. Batteries give you a good indicator of uh, how much power. Yeah, so we're producing excess and then we can store it. And we're probably going to have slightly less silicon coming through now. Alright, they're taking a very different path from before, are they? Or do they change? Okay, they then go up here. Uh, let's pause and have a look at the situation. So we did help eliminate... Yeah. Okay, I'm going to let them do their thing for a while. Uh, we're going to want power and mending up the top here, but we ain't ready for it yet. Right, so priorities, silicon and power, and also metaglass we're working on. Uh, I would also like to get our graphite press running faster. Oh, also, we can already mine titanium. We should be doing that already. What am I thinking? What am I thinking? Three there, and then all of this up here. Uh, didn't we manage to do this in a way where we got every little bit last time? Maybe not. Actually, that that's probably what we did last time, I think. Okay, bring those out. And then that goes down there. Okay, uh, I think what we're going to do... Not like that. Yeah, that'll be the way. Right, then we need two inputs in this space. So one of them... In fact, both of them are going to come through here. Like that. Right. What is the other input? It's this thing. Cool. Uh, we need to focus on this stuff up here again. Build that, please. We need more graphite. And then we're going to need titanium. Just use some coal with a bit of water from the water extractors. Works best with batteries. Yeah, we could do that, actually. We could do that, couldn't we? Quite easily. Um, but for now, I need to focus on getting titanium in. Which belt is the titanium on? I can actually see from here quite easily. Okay, around it goes, and that's the titanium belt. So none of that's up there is built either, is it? Go on, at least finish that one. Okay. Um, right, so steam and water was the suggestion this time. Let's go ahead and put down a couple of drills up here then now we want to do this yeah that's quite a lot of drills, I won't build them all at once okay so we'll have a belt coming through here belt going through there and then we'll go over here somewhere Okay, um, so we want routers going into steam. Combustion. Steam requires graphite. And then we want a water drill next to it. But we also need power to begin with. Something like that, right? Is what we're looking for, I think. So we need to get graphite up first. Let's focus on graphite again. I need those titanium belts now. They're about to arrive back at our base, which is good. How do we defend that time? Ah, we lost some walls. Not surprising. Uh, 
Wyum says, hey X, I found that using excess materials on batteries is really helpful for avoiding power shortages in my last map. I managed to store 2 million. That's a, yeah, it's a good idea, isn't it? Just spam a load of batteries, store up the power. If you have a shortage, just remember to go check on them periodically, right? I like that suggestion. Thanks for that. That's a good one. Okay. We won't need it going all the way through, but for now, it helps a little bit with the distribution here. I kind of feel that we need that as well. Right, and then somewhere in this area we're going to have a water pump and then the meadow glass, but we're not that far along yet, are we? Yep, go on, let's do this over here. Actually, priorities. Right, titanium's in. That's slightly faster. Over here is next. That and that. And then this one. And then we need to bring power over here anyway, so... Okay, there we go. So power will now come over to this. So water is going into there. We just need the coal to get in. Let's start building some of this stuff already. Cool. End of death says Asuma, what is this game about? It's uh, it's Factorio meets Tower Defense. It's a crazy game. That's what it is. Crazy game, peeps. Yeah, how are we doing? Right, we are producing and now we've got a steady flow coming in. So let's go ahead and treat that like a module of some sort that we're going to repeat over and over again. Uh, we've got sand going onto a belt there, that's kind of bad. Now, why would any of those, that one, it's that one there, it's because there's no, not actually any coal there. Brilliant. Well, I'm glad I spotted that. Do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put pump over here. I'll put one there and one there. Then they can help the ones around them. I can also put a power node here, yep. So they get connected. Right, come on, a little bit faster would be good. I mean, we're literally in need of titanium belts now. We're also backed up, so maybe not. But I'll do that for now. Okay, let's build these steam generators. And then we'll probably get some batteries in there. So, batteries are lead and copper, which we have loads of. Let's go build... Wait, what about large? That wants other important stuff. Let's go build a battery array. Like, where's some space we're not going to mess with? Down here, I feel like we're not going to mess with this. So, let's go ahead and do that. And then we're going to put a node in this area to connect it all. Why is this chat way too nice, says King Acerus. Chat, why are you, be are you being nice again, chat? I've told you, stop being nice to people. Oh, you lot in chat. Being friendly, are you? That's not cool. Not when you're on the internet. Oh, good God, no. Wait, pause. No, we're not ready for this. Oh, that was horrible. Right, we need to up our defense by the looks of it. Okay, I believe this is actually somehow amazingly managing to make power. Let's go ahead and add a router on the corner. And let's double this up. Uh, double the whole thing up, up, actually. Flip it. One way or another. Wait, rotate? Flip? What am I doing? That. That's what I'm doing. Yep, you can continue building. It's not a crime. I think I might just leave it at that now. Okay, so we go check the batteries. We are storing. So we have excess power. Cool. That means we can bring power up here now. And also to our kilns. Uh, what we will do is create a network of nodes right behind all of this. Just like that. Uh, then, on these nodes, we're going to go look at the menders. And we're going to put them like every other block, pretty much. I don't know, actually, if that's every other block or not. 
think that's every two blocks. Anyway, you can see the purpose, right? The purpose should be pretty obvious. Okay, from there, gonna drag that down in a straight line. All the way down to here, and then one between the two. Cool, power is now up here, we can now repair our defense. Excellent, that is an important step. Uh, there is another important step that we need to take, that is to continue getting Metaglass online. Okay, that in theory just needs power, right? Let's drag our power cables through this middle area. Uh, then maybe... Hmm, where do you want to go? Will that work? That will work. That will work. There we go. Okay, we're producing Metaglass. That's a beautiful thing to see. Oh god, that's not good. Uh, how did you... Wait, how did you get... What? 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 <laughs> Okay, I'm glad those are there. Right. What? We, ugh, we just juiced up our defense and immediately it was, it was overcome. Right, what's going on here? Did I build too many walls? Because they're not coming this way, right? They probably It probably came around the edge. So what we now need to do is take maybe that and just repeat that over and over again. That looks like a good idea, doesn't it? And then the mending are doing a little bit of healing. Excellent. Okay, the next wave's about to come. Might be beneficial to stay in the area, but I want to go check power. Right, we are still in a positive, but we need to finish building. Oh my good god, okay. Uh, we're being harassed. This is the next part of my defensive plan that we need to step up. Oh look, more titanium. Okay, oh god, there's more of them. Uh, we need to find lead in this area. Woo, look at me! Where's the lead? We need to multitask. Where's the lead? Use your head. Where's the lead? Okay, they've got... Is that lead? I want that. I want all of that, basically. Okay, we need to bring lead across from somewhere. Oh my good god, our defense isn't good enough. We need a little bit extra juice up the top. That is what we need. Okay, we can do this. We can do this, peeps. This is turning out to be harder than I thought. I, you know, the strategy we had the other time, going for the silicon, worked really well. This time we've got to adapt. Build! For the love of God, build! Okay, stuff's getting repaired. That's fantastic. Looks like we've got to make a couple of things here get fixed. Uh, and then I also want to throw in that bad gun or two. And then maybe we need to treat this like it needs more defense for a moment. Probably a good idea to get an additional mending thing in there. Okay, right. That's taken up too much of my energy, and there's another wave coming in. Uh, I need to portion off some of this lead. So, let's get more lead on the belt, because I'm going to be pinching some of it. Uh, we're going to take this lead in the other direction. Sorry, that's the way it's going to be. Uh, let's actually just start where we need to start. Okay, so we're going to... Hmm. We're going to put in a couple of scatters around here. We're going to put two between each as we always do. And then behind it, we're going to have this thing going across. As we always do. So, all of that. Uh, all the way back here. Let's get a connection going. Very good. Cool. Uh, we need these things, obviously. Let's get them in. Okay, we have anti-air defense for a moment, and that stuff is not getting built yet, that's fine. Okay, then we're going to come down, and then we're going to go across again. Oh, good God! Okay, it's already happening. Uh, we need that. That didn't work. And we need it here. Okay, yeah, hang on. Don't build, shoot. This is so bad. Is our power disconnected here? It's not. Uh, I just got to keep shooting. Keep shooting. Come on, this will get built. Right, I'm going to... Yep, those ones can start shooting. There's no ammo on the line yet. This is terrible. Get out of here. Right. We just need ammo on the line, peeps. Oh, wish we had a little bit of lead just around here. 
Okay. Uh, where's the ammo? It's coming through. Oh, it could do with getting here a little bit quicker, I think. Why is that so slow to build? I don't get it. What material does it want? Did I use up some deposit? Of silicon. Hmm. Silicon we really need to work on, but we chose to do this for power. Oh, this is stressful. Uh, using the command center earlier to make your own waves makes this level go quicker, says Logos. Yeah, at this point, that doesn't sound like a bad idea, you know. Let's get our nodes back in place. Make sure they're all connected together. Oh, good God, not again! We're not quite ready! Oh, please. Oh, they're just attacking random stuff in the base. They're just attacking random stuff in the base. Apparently, I blocked the path, someone said. What do you mean I blocked the path? Oh, good God, come on. Look, the ammu the, our ammunition reserves are almost here. I blocked a path. I don't know what path I blocked, but uh... okay, that's good. Those things are up. Brilliant. Right. Okay, now power should be better than ever. Come on, let's build, build, build. Let's get some of this done. What's taking this one so long? Silicon, probably. Oh god, we've got another wave coming in soon. Right. Um, what's going on back here? They're just mining stuff. So silicon has probably been hurt by this. And we really needed that to continue. Come on. There we go. No. Why? What's gone wrong? No power. Disconnected from the network? What's gone wrong? Was it, was it ever connected to the same network? What's, what's happening here? Shouldn't you be connected to that? What am I missing, peeps? No coal, apparently. Well, the routers... Let's get... They should be able to... Ah, oh, maybe, maybe it locked up. Because this is, this is bad that this hasn't been producing for a while. It's really bad. Anyway, we're hanging in here. We're doing this the hard way, if ever. So that needed silicon. Anyway, we kind of have some defense here. I was going to make the wall go all the way across here, but as you can see, it's clearly not a good idea. Let's just add... Sign it back here and I'll finish building it later. Okay, we are should be in a power positive situation. Yes, we have full power. Great. Great stuff. Let's go ahead and add uh, an additional... Let's add an overflow gate here and take that stuff out of there. Good. Okay, what I also... Uh, no, no, I'm not going to do... I'm not going to touch anything else right now. Uh, we've got a noise in the ear from Legendary Spy for two months. Legendary Spy, thank you ever so much for your support. I appreciate it. Hope you're enjoying the stream. Hope you're entertained, having a good time, hanging out with us. It's uh, it's a good one. It's a good one, this stream, I think. Like, it's entertaining. Some of you old backseat gaming, though. Probably, you probably can do this level better than me. I'll agree. I'll agree. So... If we think about the approach we took last time, we want to build our array for the long term. Going down here makes the most sense again. Just maybe starting a little bit higher this time. So, I think that's going to give us plenty of space. And we'll set ourselves up for a treble array if we need it. Uh, let's now go one, two, three down here. Okay, and as we learned last time, you can actually pump the sand in any way you like, which is kind of cool. Um, I need to build a few of these factories. One, two, three, four. So I can kind of see where to pump this in. Okay, so that's going to put it out on either side. So does that make it the same as that? Yeah, I think it makes it the same as this one here. So our next sand comes in at this point, right? Let's go ahead and... One, two, three, four, five, six. Um, hmm. Didn't actually leave myself the most space there, did I? Let's just do that. I know it's not perfect, but many things often aren't.
Okay, they're, are they all powered because they're side by side? I don't think it works like that, does it? Also, what happened there? Let's go F and then there. Okay, and then get this belt sorted out. I think we've got another wave incoming, so I might have to do a bit of a defensive check. Over here, titanium, all the way down to that spot. And that, my friends, is a silicon array. Uh, one that we can probably double up. So let's go ahead, grab all of that, chuck it down here, throw on another power node. Okay, and we have the potential to mass produce silicon. Like we did last time, I think it makes sense just to rip this up. Um, we could put the combustion generators back here. I, yeah, I'm going to rip this up, basically. Okay, and then I'm going to put... Actually, I'm going to rip that up as well. Routers, routers, routers. Might make sense to rebuild this in a little bit. It probably makes a lot of sense to do that. And we probably will. For now, we're going to rip that into here. More of it's going to be coming through. So we'll just take something out of that little bit. Chuck it into here for now. And that allows us to build more defense. Right, we're hanging in. We're hanging in, peeps. What's going on now? We're sending units up through here. I would like them to go closer to that corner just because it gets attacked. So I want these units to now go more over there. Cool. And apparently we're getting attacked over on this side, which is fine. Also, let's definitely expand this again. So we cover a larger area. Uh, let's start from there. Oh, that's wrong. One, two. And put it there. Okay, I might want to get in there and do some attacking to make our units more effective um, in a moment. But there we go. Over here is where I really want to... I want to get rid of that scatter, basically. And then I can take that lead. Although we've got it sorted out now, haven't we? Right. Um, what could I destroy? I don't know. If I could... Yeah, I can't get close enough to destroy those belts. Alright, I'm going to leave it like that. This thing should start building once some silicon goes through. There we go. They're moving where I want them to. Alright, let's take a look at this. Because we are relying on this situation over here a little bit. Again, once we get silicon in, then that's going to... Yeah, very small amount of silicon coming through. Um, if we can get more coal out of here, we can make that work better in our favour. So, extra drill for one. And I deliberately left some space here. Do you want to know why? Um, so that we could use our metaglass. If we do that and put some between, we're going to juice up that extra pipe. Okay, then we can bring it around this side and only actually put it into two of them which is alright and again over here we could use a bridge liquid, was that a junction? liquid bridge bridge conduit, that's the one like that uh, don't know why there's two of them there it makes no sense whatsoever yeah so juiced all of that up a little bit right just need to get some more titanium belt in here by the looks of it. Okay, now that is an overflow gate. So we're only ever sending the excess around here. So when I juice this up, it's only going to do so much. Now we've got enemies incoming. Let's check our power. Our power situation is really good. Next time I'm in this area, whenever I'm down here, I need to be building more batteries. Okay? We can certainly afford it. So what I'm going to do is just build this for the future. Don't have to build it all right now. Okay, I'm dead serious. We're going to do that. Okay, now let's fly up and have a look at what's going on over here. Okay, so our scatter defense is working and we're starting to penetrate through there a little bit. Very good. Uh, we need to get more silicon back to the main bit of our base, really. So we need to increase this array. We were just trying to do that with the coal over here. So we need to build another power system in order to not rely on that. Just like we did last time, I kind of tried to reserve a lot of space over here. And that space has kind of been used for other things. So we're going to have to build multiple systems, I reckon, to get this to work right. Oh, that's the wrong spot. Just going to change that. 
Oh look, we never finished building these. Wonder how much more stuff there is like that lying around. All of this got done. Oh yeah, and now we can do this. The whole time we were trying to get Metaglass right. Bringing you up to speed on my plans, peeps. Uh, we're going to do that, and then we're going to do that, and we're going to do that, and that. This is going to require like a, a fair bit of power, though, in order to make it effective, I believe. Uh, that's not quite what I was trying to do. So then we need some pumps, right? Pumps can just go here. One, two, three, four of them. Why not? Okay, so we suck a little bit of power out to the side here, and it looks like those ones need a node. There you go, they need a node connection. So now they're getting a little bit more juice. They're probably going to want faster belts, right? Let's give them faster belts. Don't think that one there really makes much of a difference, though. Uh, I'll tell you what we can do. Still a couple more places to soak up some more, isn't there? Kind of looks like we want a little bit of a faster belt here as well. Okay, so now we should see this pretty much turn out full belt. Very good. It's producing lots of graphite for the future. Sand over here is doing its job. It's the coal. So we need to get off of that coal power over there to increase silicon. Uh, so we removed this round here so that we could get this thing going again. And we need to maximize the usage of space here. So I'm literally going to go right over here into this corner. Like we did last time, we're going to start like this. This thing needs to be self-serving at some point, doesn't it, is the problem. So we need a little bit of power to come in. I'll tell you what, we've got that big pa uh, battery array helping us out. So we can probably actually get this thing off to a start pretty easily. Okay, so that's going to put all of that in. Uh, I think we're sort of short of silicon, because some stuff ain't getting built. Right, okay. It's the same old problem, isn't it? We've got a bit of a loop going on here. We need to check our power first of all. I think we're power negative. Nope, we're positive. Okay. We need more of this silicon to come through. So what I'm going to do is put in another belt that goes around this way. So some of what goes in there actually comes around and uh, goes onto our output belt. So a little bit more is going to filter through that way. And then over here, I'm not entirely sure what to do. Because we've juiced these up big time. Uh, if you look at how much water is going to these, not a lot. We need more water drills to make them more juiced. Ah, we've got a power node there. Can I put that node somewhere else? Probably, yeah. Okay. We'll put a water drill here. And then a couple down the sides. And they're going to need nodes. Is what I'm noticing. Right, so we should be now juicing up the drill speed. It really looks like we are. Let's get some titanium belt across the middle here. Because that's all getting juiced up. Okay, hopefully that helps again. Right, let's check on defenses. And let's check on attack. Can I... Yeah, okay, that thing's been cut off. That's really good. Can I cut off anything here? Not quite, no. Alright, anyway, we'll leave them to do their thing. I haven't read chat in a while, man. I get so sucked into this. This is the next play this game. It's making me want to play modded Minecraft, says Pony Butts. Uh, there's a lot of automation going on, so you're probably hearing some old things I would say when I was playing modded, if that makes any sense at all. Uh, I don't think we need to expand Metaglass production in the slightest. Like, we're just stockpiling it. Yeah, that's right. We're getting this done next. So all of that silicon coming in is helping us get an array going here. Um, in theory, we need to finish one of those next. Now, these should... They don't have power. I think we're missing a conduit connection. Does that do it? Okay, there we go. They're now actually doing it. They're making the spore pods. Cool. So, slowly this thing is getting up and running and producing power back into the system. 
Right, I hope I hope we're doing good on the fence here. Let's go check out what's going on. I think we're doing far better than we ever have done before. Right, that thing needs some more healing, that's for sure. I want to get a projector up in this corner now. And we don't have that because we don't have enough silicon. Okay, we, we're kind of caught in a little bit of a loop here. It's annoying. We need this stuff to get finished. We need silicon to do it. Okay, the belt does go the whole way around though. So in theory, that is probably at this point kind of self-sustaining on power. What we're going to do is cut off the umbilical over here. And I'm going to take... Uh, actually, I'm just going to I'm going to delete it. So I need some of those materials back. Okay, we're going to leave it like that for a moment. Come over here, make sure we get all of this finished. Yeah, because we need that power. There we go. Okay, so we should be producing a lot more now. Obviously, the next step is then to reproduce this. Do another array. Gonna need more power nodes in the area. And then we need to go... How are we doing? We're not power positive. In fact, we're, we're losing power drastically fast. Wait, now we went power positive. We must have just got on attacked. Oh, we really need this array to work because we need to... Oh god, I do not like the look of that. What is happening? What is happening over here? We just lost so much. We need to keep this thing going. Are we storing again? Oh my god, we've gone power, power negative. Come on, produce more. Right, let's focus on getting the production up. Oh, we've hit we've hit like a point again and it's all going wrong. Uh, take those off. We don't need more meta glass right now. Yes, we need more of that. Definitely. Okay, we're power positive for a moment. Then we lost loads of power again. Oh my goodness me, this is tense. Watching little sliders go up and down is what we're doing right now, peeps. Oh, let's build that. The problem is, I reckon this over here has now probably been affected negatively, right? It should be doing better. All of these things need more power. I don't think we were ready to quite self-sustain over here is the problem. We power positive. We're power positive. We're storing 8K. Okay. We need larger batteries than we've got. And this array right here may just be saving us now. Okay, that's good to see. That's good to see. Remember, meta glass is offline, peeps. Okay, wonderful. Right, now let's fly down here, build a couple more batteries. Uh, let's have a look at building bigger batteries as well. Silicon. They want silicon. That's the one thing we're all after. Okay, I'm going to put in... Let's, let's think about the ratio here. How much do you store? 50,000. Really? 4,000. Okay, well I'm going to put in a bunch of these. And also those. Just in that little space. Hey, build, go on, finish building that one. Okay, so now we can store a lot. We've just got to generate more again. Um, I'm not sure this is the best thing ever, really. If we look at how much water we're getting here... I think it needs more water overall. We can actually focus on just expanding the amount of water that goes in as opposed to making the array bigger. Maybe that's the thing that's missing here. Uh, if I just do that as a test. Okay, a couple extra nodes. An extra pipe going down like that. Now that's going to put more water into the overall system and then water's going to come up and efficiency is going to go up. So at least the top one's doing a little bit better. Right, now it's maxed. So we needed way more way more pumps for each one of these, basically. And I don't know if that's going to increase the power overall, but we are power positive. And we stored 8k. That doesn't sound right. I've got a weird feeling that this is actually not a network. They are all connected. See, look, some of these over here say 4,000. Maybe something's wrong here. Let's get a couple more nodes. Then what does it say about the network? Now it says 700. Okay, there is some sort of proximity thing going on here that I wasn't aware of. 
Okay, and now our network says 790. We didn't hook these all up properly yet. What is going on with this? Right, you connect to that one and that one. Okay, so if we're putting more stuff in proximity, now we've got 790k again. I think maybe now we are actually hooked up to everything. Maybe it needed to touch in order to get everything. So now when we're power positive, we're going to store more. Uh, let's look at the output of silicon, the thing we've been trying to get more of. It's in need of an upgrade, clearly. Which is absolutely fantastic. Because now we get more silicon through faster. Good. Okay. Oh, this is bonkers. Let's check out the efficiency of this again. I'm not sure... Yeah, look. So up here, the efficiency goes down. So these ones are useless. So the node, or the router even, isn't actually routing through water. That's really weird. So what I kind of need is probably one or two for every one of those cultivators. I could redesign this to do that. Uh, let's, let's actually give that a shot. So what we need is two for every one. Uh. So pipe goes in. Well, right, okay, I can see it. I can see it in my head. One, two, three, four is probably what we need. Yeah, this is where the design falls apart a little bit because it was built before we entirely knew what we were doing. So that should do the whole thing. Then I gotta put the node somewhere where it connects to all four. And I'm not sure that it does. It just misses the one at the front. If I hmm Maybe I could make these a bit more independent. No, that wouldn't work. Okay, let's actually just siphon off the very last one. Go back to the power node. Now it connects to all three. Good. Okay, so let's say we rip out that. Place it with this. Okay, now in theory, that should mean these are more efficient. Now they're up to 100% efficiency. That's good. Okay, let's keep at this. It's a bit crazy we're figuring this out now. Uh, pause. <laughs> I am a pomegranate, it says I give advice, but I have absolutely no idea how any of this works. Well then it's probably a good thing you're not giving advice. And I appreciate that. Bad advice is bad. <laughs> uh, what are we doing here? Just, just, oh, good god, okay. Wait, am I, have I, yes, I've, oh god, I've made a big mistake. No, have I? I've done something. Right, so, yet yeah, then, t okay, so I made a big, oh my goodness me. I'm absolutely butchering this. Okay, let's start again. That is supposed to be there, and then it's supposed to be there. This is all offline, I've just realised, because I've disconnected the power nodes. Okay, now the whole thing is back online. And the efficiency has gone up to 100% of the front here. So that's running now as fast as it can. And we might copy that whole thing and do it again. It doesn't even the pipes at the top. You can just have a whole bunch of routers, says Atomic King. Can I? Well, they're still doing the thing, right? The pipes. Anyway, uh, that should mean better power production. We really need to suss out what the next step is now. Maybe trying to get more silicon going. We don't have a full belt of... We could take that offline soon. Uh, yeah, I think I think it doesn't really make sense. Okay, I don't know what to do. We need to get more coal over there. And we're using all of this for graphite. And our graphite is actually backed up, which is just silly. So let's go ahead and fix that problem. Uh, one question, though. Are we now stockpiling graphite? We are. So you could argue we don't need to use as much coal for this over here. And more could go into silicon. 
Okay, let's see how we defend. We might need to upgrade our defense soon. I don't think we need to yet, but soon. Okay, so now what we need to do... Actually, we know what we need to do. It's silicon. So, like, where do I get more coal from? Can I get coal out of their base? Do they have a coal patch we could take over? Wait, that's coal, isn't it? So do we... What do you, what do you think, peeps? I need some advice here. X, you only need one water pump for two steam generators. And you only need two water pumps for one cultivator. Yeah, I've now got three for two. I was trying to do two for one. And just use routers or let the pipes go downwards. Oh, I think I know what you mean by that. Securing the coal in the top left of the map for silicon. Oh, okay, excellent. Thank you for the tip. Uh, I think what you mean is this should all be like that in order to distribute everything better, right? Let's hope that helps. And power in the network. We are storing 8k. What? Let's fly back down here again. Where we are storing 700... Are we on separate... Did we disconnect the networks from each other? Oh my goodness me, this is terrible. We dis disconnected the network somehow. I think. Right, are we now actually all running on the same network? Because this could mean... That I don't need this over here. I don't think we do. We're power positive. I'm going to take that offline. I'm going to tear all of it out. It is all coming out. It can all go. Because I don't think it's necessary. All of that can go into silicon production, right? And we are still power positive. But only slightly. But we're probably defending up here and repairing. Yeah, okay. So apparently top left of the map. Aha! That's what we want. Now, I'm going to try and just grab this stuff without taking... Oh, apparently all of that can be selected. Uh, without any attention over here, right? Wait, am I am I mad or is it letting me put it over... Oh, it's because of sand. There's sand in the area. Isn't it? No? Yeah, look. One sand there. One sand there. And another one here. Okay, cool. Uh, let's try and yoink this out of here. Let's use titanium, actually, and just hope that they don't notice it. Alright, that's what, how we're going to play this one. We're going to hope they don't notice. Alan says it's an attack map, so attack. Yep, but we got to uh, we got to do it in a way where we can attack, and that requires getting silicon. Now, there is sand right here where we are bringing in this stuff. I think it's time for an array, peeps. Uh, we would one two. We would probably go for that. Actually, I need to double that up, don't I? Okay, it's doubled up. Uh, we'd put the coal straight in on the left side. Good. Then in this area, we can go two, three, four, five, six, seven. We can actually go like faster because we've got titanium belts. So let's try. Let's try that and rip that out, put it across here and into that side. Uh, we're going to need a power node up here obviously and then we're going to need the silicon smelter. Down like that. Very good. I'll let you. I'll let you all put your dirt faces in chat on that one. I'll let you put your dirt faces in chat on that one. Oh, I think I'll go and press the dirt button many, many times. Oh, what an idiot! Man, I can't keep making mistakes like this. To be fair, I noticed that like I needed a gap. I just had the wrong number in my mind, you know. Let's go grab our array. Point it in once. Point it in twice. Cancel that one at the bottom. Look at those derp faces. Aren't they glorious and beautiful? That's why you tune in. You love this part of the stream. You love it when I derp, don't you? That's made the stream worth watching. Uh, I'm not going to send this back to um, back to the other spot, actually. What I'm going to do here is go and copy our setup and just produce as many as I can over in that area. Uh, when we do this, we have an input of two, is what I've got to remember. So let's flip it and let's do it all the way down. Let's, let's start at the bottom and work our way back out. Makes a lot of sense, doesn't it? Okay, so we're going to need power over here. I'm going to use some uh, large power nodes for this. 
Actually, it's really pointless. It just costs more resources. At least for that bit, so it connects to everything. Okay, we might be about to get a little bit on the lucky side here. Because I need a way to power all of this. I guess I would power it from there, actually. Okay, all powered, but we're not connected to the network. And now we should be. Sweet. Okay, so we're producing all of that. Let's get this going quickly, peeps. We want to win this level. We need to win it now. Okay, so down here we're going to have some routers. And that, my friends... Uh, I could have done this in a way where I built it on both sides. I've just realised. Let's actually rip that out. Uh, also, that just about stays on that side, which is good. We just want to get this going super quick, right? Okay, now that we've done that, I'm going to grab this. Uh, no, I'm going to grab more than that. I'm going to do all of that. And then put it here. And then put it there. And that is our goal to all of that. Oh, I just realised this comes kind of close... Yeah, it comes kind of close to where we actually want to have uh, more of the array. Right, anyway, they're going to produce units and send them out. Oh, we're going to need them soon, I tell you. Get wrecked, sucker. Get wrecked. Okay, wave 36. Things really started to toughen up around here, didn't they, last time. Let's go ahead and uh, just do this. Oh, a little bit close to that area. Then again, it's an anti-air gun, so if I can build it, it's fine. Turns out I can build it. Okay, come back here. Grab all of that. Perfectly positioned. Okay, let's look at what's going on here. Um, we have maxed out. Now, if I want to put it into this side, we need to go into a router there. So that would be a way to get more coal over here. Right, so what we'll do is take this bit, come back around. Nice. Okay, so in theory, should be getting a little bit more into the system. Kind of means we need to do this. Oh, what on earth happened there? Need a node. Uh, let's get those nodes connected as well. I like it when there's lots of connections in the network. Okay, uh, then we need sand around here. Let's go ahead and do that. Gonna move it like this. Then sand goes in at that point. Beautiful, beautiful, and we have loads more of that going on. Probably way too many now. That's probably going to be a full belt, isn't it? Yeah, let's get rid of that one. And that one as well, by the looks of it. There you go, full belt. Okay, that is really, really good. Lots and lots of silicon coming through here now. Lots going back to the base. These things are still producing. And we've got another production thing going on over here. How is this thing performing? Not so great because we need more coal. So we need to juice up our coal. And that means probably bringing some power up here as well. Okay, a little bit more coal comes through. Now we'll try and get uh, the power network over this. Up in there. Of this wall. You still need more sand, peeps are saying. Yeah, I probably still need more. We'll go we'll go look at it again in a bit, but uh as of right now, we're focusing on this. We could use this to build weapons up here that run off of power as well. It might be a good time to start getting aggressive if we're set up and we've got lots of power and we're doing good. Okay, I see quite a lot there. Let's put a large power node here. Okay, that's got to juice it up, right? 
And it kind of looks like it's juicing it up straight away. So we've got more units coming in. Loving it, loving it. Okay, now what we're going to do is grab our factory. We're going to flip it and put it in the exact same spot. And then we're going to increase our array as well. Which probably means we'll need more sand. I'm kind of building where the sand is, which isn't so great. Yeah, let's go ahead and put those three there for now. Okay, and then... Uh-oh. Why is the screen bumping so much? Right, I need to put in opposite. That's... Yeah, that's where the sand would go in there. It might be a little bit unintuitive. That's what I'm kind of pointing out. Okay, how's the sand doing there? So the sand was full there. I think what we could do is reroute the last two into this spot. And then add in a couple of drills just in this space. Just doing the best we can with what we got. Maybe even that. Oh, I did it wrong, didn't I? I did it massively wrong. Hmm. Thought I'd suss that one, but no. Okay, that's really bad. So let's just go ahead and and then see him doing it the lazy way, peeps. Wait, what? It's still going into the. Oh no, some just came out of the system. That's what happened. Okay, anyway, that's all terrific. We got, you know, that going well. I don't know if the extra juice is kicking in just yet. Maybe I can get a couple more water drills. i got loads of dirt faces. Peeps are saying wrong one. Is that from like a second ago or is that still relevant? What's going on there? Power node. We really need to check our uh, power network, I think, actually. Okay, we are sort of power neutral, which worries me. And we're losing power. So everything I'm doing is kind of destructive at the moment. What we need to do then is get another one of these going. And we've got just enough space to squeeze it in. Let's build it. We need another one before the power runs out. Okay, it might be better if I tell it where to build first. No? Okay, I'm doing bad things apparently. How is our power network doing? We're losing that stored power. That we are. Ah, also, everything is walking through where I'm trying to build. That's not very helpful. Let's uh, keep these going and those. Uh, I'm hearing, I'm hearing things I don't like the sound of. Flying things. They're bad. Okay. Yep. Yeah, built the rest of it, but then something got in the way. Okay. No, that's not good enough. That goes, no. There, and there we go. And then this goes here. The whole thing's connected up. Now we have a second producing power network. Something is missing in the middle of it. What is going on over there? Okay, next thing I want is more of that. Okay, I'm going to come in here and grab a massive row of them. Wait, those are my robots, aren't they? Apparently there's like a maximum size there. Okay, let's actually just put them like that and then fix it after. Okay, because clearly we need a junction there. Junction, where art thou? Okay, good. <laughs> Look at that aggressive group over there. They're going for it. Uh, what happened to my junction? Very good. We've got one little bit of copper there. That's probably going to cause a problem at some point. Right, so we've got more anti-air defense. Uh, we're now wrecking house over here. I mean, I'm helping, but I don't know by how much, really. Just let them, let them charge in, basically. Right, this... We kind of want to disconnect this anti-air defense. But anyway, uh, this is going great. Absolutely great. So now we have totally tapped this out. Oh look, uh, two of these don't actually do anything. Well, let's get rid of that then. 
Also, how are we doing on power? Got to keep an eye on that. Power is just about positive, it seems. Uh, what we could do somewhere here is try and double this up, but it seems pretty, like, peak, doesn't it? I think I might just leave it like that rather than run a second belt. This probably means there's parts of what's going on down here that we don't actually need. So we get rid of all of that. And then, kind of looks like we're missing a belt at the bottom. This is probably maxed out now, so we're going to leave it as such. Let's check out the power network. Yeah, we're power positive again thanks to this. So what I want to do now, I think, is attack big time. Right, which is not what we did last time. So let's just bring that out. They're not attacking that. That's cool. We're going to use power to attack. I think. Is that going to hit anything? Can I help? Whoa, they are fly things. And they are going where I don't want them to go. You are going where I don't want you to go. Okay. Oh my goodness me. Uh, it is time for more defense. I'm going to put that there. And I'm going to panic. Put... Did we ever finish that big mend up? We didn't. Yeah, we are in need of defense here. Let's get that thing finished. Oh, that hurts. That hurts. Okay, and some belts got destroyed. That's fine. I see what's happening here. It is starting to get beefy. Um, let's go down here again. Yeah, we are we are kind of like not actually producing as much power as we could do. Uh, and looking at this now, I'm kind of thinking, let's go put an overflow gate in here and bring back that system we had before. Because that was actually helping. So one, two, and then across like that. Uh, steam generator, wasn't it? And then we need a node or one of those things. Okay, so then copy that and put it here, and here, and here, and there. Okay, so emergency measures to produce extra power. If we overflow, we can use this much over here, which is good. Okay. Um, let's go check out the situation with the attack. What are we doing here? We lost all of our little forward advance bit. I'm going to keep it away from what you saw a moment ago. So we're going to bring it up to about here. And then we're going to put something down. We're going to put arcs, I think. Or at least one to begin with. Yeah, that's not going to do anything yet. That's fine. Right, now. What we're going to do here is get extra wool in. And we kind of want them coming around to this point. Actually, I'm do that. Oh, wait, we've got some coming in there, have we? Okay. I don't want to accidentally reroute them in this direction now that I think about it. So we had this little opening here. We're going to close that off. And then we're going to put in a couple more of these. And we're blatantly going to need them. And then I think I'm going to put a bunch of arcs in this space. Okay, and here comes the next... Oh my goodness me, look at that. Whoa! Absolute whoa! <laughs> okay, we survived that. Uh, and then I got shot. Air at top coal, peeps are saying. Yeah, let's go check that out. Coal is still good over here. Whoa, hello. You were caught in a loop, weren't you? No, we're good up there. We're good up there. Um... Let's look at where they're going in. They're kind of being super destructive. I'm really not sure what to do here. Let me put it like that. I'm, I'm just... I'm in an R in a bit. Do I produce more of the deck maga things? Do I try and get in there a bit more? Okay. That's good. We want them to come into this little bit and shoot them across at that angle. Okay, uh, let's go check this thing out. Right, so we are actually getting super close. And I want to put a weapon as close up to their area as I can. So let's start to get some arcs up here. Because this will now actually be just destroying stuff, right? Yep, there we go. That's very good. That allows me to walk in a little bit further, I think. Okay. 
Okay. The thing is, the waves are just going to keep generating. So, I do need to do something clever. Okay, that's interesting. We ain't able to get too much closer than that by the looks of it. Okay, then Sight over there is attacking it. There's some long range stuff here. <laughs> it's pew pew pew, zap zap zap. That's all we're hearing. Right, it's time to take out some of this stuff here as well, I think. It seems to be a strategy that's going to work. Okay, bring that up as close as it'll go. And then we'll get some arcs coming in this way. This might be a bit trickier because... Oh wait, if I can just sort of like distract them for a bit. I don't think that weapon's doing that much good. <laughs> I'm trying to trying to draw their fire so that arcs can do damage. I'm not sure if it's working. No, it's not working, is it? Uh, there is a red line pointing to the left, X. You might want to look into that. A red line pointing to the left. What is the red line pointing to the left? No idea. Okay, I think we... No, we look, we lost this bit here. Maybe I'll try a weapon with a bit bigger range. And then that can really hammer some damage out. Yeah, it can do that. Okay, now I, can I go into this... Well, there we go. There's another wave. Luckily, our robot's going to take them out on the way in. We could... Oh, look at this. We need to up robot production in this area, I think. Okay, this is a clear sign, isn't it? We're not using enough of this stuff. Okay, let's go ahead and yoink that and put it here. Uh, then what we'll do is get rid of that. Put in another distributor. Might have to wait a second here. Okay, and then we want a router there. Cool, alright, so we're going to get even more robots heading up there now. It's about the best we can do at the moment, isn't it? Um, power is still good, we're kind of not storing anything though. I'm really not sure what to do. Okay, wait, I can get closer now? Okay, that's good. I can get closer all of a sudden. So let's go ahead. Wait, no, I can't build inside of there. Right, that makes a lot of sense, actually. So maybe it would help if I could bring these nodes kind of just over here. Yeah, and then put another weapon up here. So we just cut off whatever's going on at the edge here. Okay, no, maybe, maybe maybe we won't. Okay, I tried, but I failed. Uh, another place we could try and bring things is maybe more this way. Where's the line again? I'm looking for that line. Okay, might be a bad idea to build anything here. I'm going to put a couple of arcs in. Just to zap these things as they come down. Okay, that's not happening though, is it? I think we got this, peeps. I think we just got to be a bit more aggressive now. With uh, getting some of this defensive stuff in. Okay, so I think we're about to find out the range of that other gun. Uh, looks like it's going to shoot off that first node. No, it's going to hit that as well. Maybe we'll go for that one there. Okay, and it's not even doing anything. So, uh, I think it kind of makes sense for me just to get in here and shoot stuff as well. About the best use of my resources at the moment. Oh, that's really loud, isn't it? Okay, taking out an anti-air. We need to take out that Lancer thing next. Okay, just want to tack away at that. And there's another wa wave. Oh, God. Uh, are we further than last time? Just start shooting at the core, says Talbot. Yeah, we're at the just start shooting at the core bit. That is for sure. Uh, I think I'm going to get another one of these going now. Have I got enough room to put it in there? No, I don't. Where can I put it? Maybe just over here. Flip the design. Uh, yeah, that'll work. Get a couple of routers. Okay, let's build that. 
And we, I think we are just slowly losing power as well. So it is a bit of a race against the clock. Anyway, we're going to have more units coming from there now. And uh, we just got to get in at the core, really. Try and take out some key weapons like this one. Am I hitting it? I think I'm hitting it. Move forward a bit just to make sure. There we go. We're hitting it. We are taking down that Lancer. Very nice. Okay, uh, next thing I want to take out is the silicon. There we go, that's been taken out. Okay, I think I'm getting hit by something. Anyway, the silicon's been taken out now. Not sure what else I can do. Take out the power nodes. Oh, we did it. Sweet. We did it in time. That was cool. That was really cool. I really enjoyed that level. Hey, it might be easier to shoot the power node rather than destroy the Lancer. Yeah, yeah, we kind of figured that out a little bit later, didn't I? We got an A plus on that. Do you know what that means? There's one level left, and everyone's told me this one's really difficult. Now, considering we have to survive, and we only have to reach wave 15 by the looks of it, or maybe a higher wave, I'm not sure. But okay, if it's a survival, I think I'll be all right. But anyway, everyone's told me that one's real difficult, and that one really tested me. But we did it. It was a lot of fun. Peeps, thank you ever so much for tuning in. I appreciate it. Hope you enjoyed the stream. Be sure to hit the follow button before you head out of here. And stick around if you'd like to be a part of a raid. I'm going to go see who is currently a streaming. And I see that Ren Diggity Dog is streaming. So I'll send you over there. Uh, peeps, in chat. Oh, I can't do it in chat. I need to refresh. Because my chat is broken. Hit the raid button. I'll tell you when it's there. Massive thank you to everyone who subscribed, resubscribed, donated, and cheered. As always, I appreciate your support. And now you can hit the raid button in chat. Thank you to all of my patrons. I'll be seeing you all later in the week for another stream. Can't stream tomorrow, Tuesday or Wednesday, so it'll be later on. Anyway, hit that raid button. I'll see you. Bye-bye.